Hey, welcome to the show. Feeling good with Duddy? That's me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're back in the bunker, episode 95 of Feeling Good with Duddy, the show that points at the world, has a laugh, and then points in the mirror, has a laugh, you get it, fairest of the fair, bravest of them all, that's us, and now I'd like to add to what we are, the only venue that's open in California, that's also (laughs) us, bands come in, they play, you understand it, I'm Jake B., a podcaster, I suppose, in Southern California. Let me introduce you to my brother, the host of this very show, guitar player, singer of the Dirty Heads. Here he is, everybody, Duddy B. What is happening? That is right. We are back. 95, Jake. We're trucking along, man. Wow. Hundreds coming up, Duddy. Yeah, we should probably uh, do something special for that. We're going to think about one day maybe preparing something pretty important for that. Maybe on episode 99, we'll start to really plan something out. And then episode 100 will come. It'll be a lame one. And then we'll just go to... Either way, 100's (laughs) coming up, Duddy. 100's coming up, and that is going to be an amazing show, I'm sure. And this is also going to be an amazing show. It's going to be a banger. We have an amazing guest here today. We have Jacob and Aiden from the band Law. We have a conspiracy query. We have, uh, they're going to perform some songs for us. Uh, they got a band camp. Uh, they're going to show us a riff. We've got some Q&A from our Patreon members. It's going to be an awesome show, I promise you. And we can't wait to get into it. But before that, I do have a little bit of music news. You do. Let's hit them with it. Vacation has gone gold. That's right. Your song, Vacation. How many years ago did you guys release? And this oh, is five, six, I don't know. seven, eight. It's, it's a long, maybe five it's a while ago. ago. Five years ago. Four or five. Maybe. Um, we make fun of TikTok and things like that on the show from time to time. We make fun of a lot of things. Maybe we should stop. Tell them why it's gold, Doug. No, okay. Well, I mean, the song was headed in that direction, and I'm sure it would have eventually. But yeah, it happened a lot quicker than we thought. From the trend, the TikTok trend of everyone using the Vacation song for the TikTok trend. And apparently... Uh, it, it just went crazy and it pushed the song over into gold. So we're super stoked on that. Thank you guys all much, so, so much for that. That's freaking awesome. We're super stoked. Um, not much touring news or anything like that for the Dirty Heads, but the Roman Duddy project. Mm-hmm. We are heading out next month to go try those makeup shows again for the third time. And uh, yeah, hopefully these uh, don't get canceled because we are looking forward to it. We can't wait to see you guys out there. Um, but yeah, what about you, Jake? I know you got some music news. I as actually well. have music news like from the past. So a lot of you guys know I was in HB Surround Sound for many, many years. That was my first band. Uh, another new album from HB Surround Sound has reached the internet. This is from this album was never released ever. This was ten songs that we just did uh, from the point of 2002 to 2006. We did them in nice studios. They're, they're cool, recorded great. We just never put them on any albums. I found them on a CD in Duddy in our parents' garage in a box. I found a CD. These songs were on it. A treasure. A little treasure. And so we put it out. So Lost Songs is the name of the album, appropriately. And it's on, it's, it's everywhere. Wait, is it on iTunes yet, Luke? I don't think it is. It's on Spotify right now, soon to be on iTunes. Also for myself personally, Jake Bushnell. I put a bunch of music out and it's all on Spotify, soon to be on iTunes. Just search Jake Bushnell, Elephants from Mars and Surf Cobras. It is? Oh, Jake Bushnell is up, up on iTunes now. Just Breaking found news. out from Luke. Go listen, guys. It's my music from the past, and I'll be adding my new music to that account. Anyway, music news. We have kind of more music news, Duddy, because you want to start kind of a new segment here. Why don't you tell everybody what happened? uh, So, you know, usually right here is where we tell you someone should be shot or slapped, and we tell you about something that pissed us off and and people who need to be put into place. Um, This is something along those lines, but one of our Patreon members posted a photo into our... uh, our bunker page, the, the FGWD bunker is a Facebook group for this podcast. So if, if you like listening to this podcast and you want to talk with other people who are into this podcast, go to Facebook, the FGWD bunker page. It's a lot of fun over there, but he posted a picture and uh, long story short, the picture was a guy at a show and he was on the shoulders of his friend with his shirt off and you know, he's front row and It's just one of those things. And I looked at this picture and I was telling Jake, I was like, oh man, this is like one of my pet peeves. I hate this when I'm on stage and I see 
the like drunk guys in the crowd, like the big dudes, they're, they're wasted. That's okay. That's fine. Have fun. But then, you know, the the shirts are off. Mm -hmm. One of the dudes is on the other dude's shoulders. They're tromping through the crowd. They're spilling people's drinks. Nobody behind them can see. And (laughs) they think, and they think that everyone around them is like, yeah, dude, you're up there on the shoulders. But really we can see everyone's faces and everyone's just like, nobody goes to a concert thinking I want to be next to a bunch of shirtless guys that's what i mean maybe yeah. some people do but hey man i'm I don't. sure there's yeah. a nice shirtless guy out there that's just hot but it's when, <laughs> just, when you know what i mean though it's the two we the all big know guys the guy. on the shoulders and you're tromping around and and you think that like oh i'm the show now look at how cool i am but like nobody is thinking look at how cool that guy is it's really <laughs> the exact opposite and it made me think of this funny segment i wanted to start so bringing in our guests i wanted to think see what they thought about this and also I wanted to see their show etiquette, which is the new segment we want to start. I'm going to start asking bands things they see from the stage in the crowd that just bums you out when you're, and you just, you don't want to be this guy. So let's bring them on, Jake. Let's do it. Our guests today, we have Jacob and Aiden from the band law. How's it going guys? Fabulous. Very, very good. Awesome, man. Well, thank (laughs) you guys so much for coming down. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's it's awesome to be here. We love doing these kind of things, and uh, yeah, thanks for reaching out. We appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. So yeah, I'm we sure. reach out to that's the cool thing. I was going to talk to you. We reach out to the bands we want to have on people yep. that we know are local. Obviously, right now people mm-hmm. aren't yeah. on tour, but we and you guys were awesome enough to come in. We're stoked, you know. So thank you for that. It was really cool, you guys. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Yeah, mm-hmm. and when we announced that you guys were going to be here, actually, we had a lot of response of people that were excited about oh, it. Oh, good. So oh, dope. We're super stoked, and I'm also excited to hear your show etiquette, what you have, and what you think about the uh you know the the buff shirtless dudes on top of their friends shoulders the and beef cake. <laughs> so the funny. beef cakes that's exactly what i was yeah. thinking in my I head love how you put it cakers. because i feel like the person who does it they think man how cool am i but no one else is doing <laughs> yes <laughs> That's just a funny way of putting yeah. it. <laughs> well, you usually yeah. see, you know, behind them people, you know, trying to get out of the way because they can't see now or, you know, drinks being spilt or just right. it creates havoc around yeah. them. And most people are just bothered by it. I get some people go to shows to party and like those dudes are trying to have a good time. But it's like I like to hope the majority of the people actually want to see the band and like feel the music. And yes. you got some giant dudes just <laughs> yes. throwing oh. beer being just like <laughs> over the top. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. the photo is a good that. one. The photo that was posted too, it was, it was the size of the dude. Yeah. It it, it's, dude. We talked about it yeah. and we're like, if it's a short girl, I yeah. mean, I guess we should, if even if it's a really short dude that, yeah. that can't see the show, you got to give him a song yeah. or two on the shoulders. But the six foot two guy yeah. doesn't need a shoulder. Well, yeah. That's just to be obnoxious. That's that just point. to put it out there. <laughs> and we yeah. talked about it too, because then we were like, well, what about, are, is it the same for girls? It's not. It's not. No, it's when not. I see like the girl on her boyfriend's shoulders, it doesn't bother not me as mad. at all. And nobody mm. seems to be bothered around it because I'll tell you, this is the difference. When it's a girl on her boyfriend's shoulders, it's usually him standing there in place and mm. she's kind of either dancing or she's just, just watching. up yeah. there watching. Yeah. They're not trumping around fucking chicken no. fighting people. You exactly. know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Cheersing with beers yeah. over the top, the showering. Yeah. The yeah. This is one of my favorites and it just popped into my head. I don't know that I don't like this, but it is weird. The couple that's just just making out yeah, I hate I that. really I hate that. hard I yeah. in the crowd like no it's one's like, why yes. are you here it's like, so what's the point yeah like grabbing yeah. like yeah. they're almost having sex standing yeah. clothed i i've, I've seen that a lot not. i've been to a couple concerts where that was actually the case i think i went to a a who a collie buds show it was a collie buds show uh, when i was uh in high school i remember whoever was opening up it was some smaller like hip-hop duo or whatever mm-hmm. A couple was doing that and they had their guy come out from behind the stage and throw a mattress into the crowd. <laughs> no. And I couldn't see over the crowd, but what I did <laughs> see was the couple get forcibly taken out by security about oh, five minutes later. So, oh, so they got on the mattress. I, yeah, they did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I believe that they did. Oh, that, that's a great oh, I, No joke, at one of these drive-in shows we recently did a few months back, you know, the drive-in uh, concerts that were going on. Mm-hmm. This was a very family scene vibe mm-hmm. yeah. and it wasn't like huge crowds. So you can almost get away with just making out and maybe only like a couple people around you might see because it's all hidden in the mess of the Mm -hmm. crowd everyone is very spread out and it's very easy to see everything that's happening and it's very family situation and there was just what you said 
Uh, there was this couple that you can tell was pretty buzzed up and they were in front of their car just dancing just making out as if nobody else in the world existed oh, guys groping her butt like heavily just over the top yeah. and right no to the left to of that. them one <laughs> parking spot away i always all watch I see. but i don't want to see that no, no. <laughs> no but the, the car right next to them was like a full family oh, and it had like the three kids. young kids oh, in it and bummer. it was just oh, can okay. i tell you who oh, i think i cool. see when you say that hippie style guy no shirt corduroy brown pants <laughs> way too low can see the top of his pubes no no sure. no this is just what that. i see yeah. kind maybe? of a jungle book guy yeah. probably a cool dude but he's wasted and he <laughs> met a chick who was hula hooping on the lawn <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, she's got one birkenstock yeah. and she doesn't just isn't bothered to find the other yeah. and this was this, this wasn't was not, this, was like, uh, this was like backwards hat dude <laughs> oh god yeah, that's what bro. i was imagining this was backwards yeah. hat dude I had, was way off. And I'm pretty sure he had like the star tattoo things oh, on the that shoulders. Oh, yeah. that and, like, guy. I know, you know man. Shoulder like, stars. Whatever, that yeah. guy. And then the chick was like the, you're kind of, you're probably kind of hot, but you look like you go out and get hammered every single night. Yes. Type chick, you know, it yeah. was that couple for sure. They party. There's and a I, nice look like they were yes. having a great time, but, you know, for <laughs> yeah. sure. There is a oh. window for that super hot party every night chick. And yeah. then it gets real bad real fast. But there's I feel the like window. She was like she was in, in her last it's year. Of the window. She's 20. Yeah. Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get real. Oh, gnarly. I don't know. But what about you guys? Is there anything that you've just seen in the crowd oh, or that you remember? You're like this uh, just really like, why don't do this? <laughs> uh, groping of women. I've had that happen to my oh, girlfriend multiple yes. times oh, in the crowd. Yeah. And Ooh, it's like that's bad show. I, I, I'm that's good, bad. More than just show. Yeah, I hate, no, I hate I, it sucks. And I always miss it because I'm in the middle of playing and I'm like into it. But like one of the times she was in the crowd and there was a pit and she was on. Like, she wasn't in the pit, obviously. But then like the. The one dude who was giving her a hard time, even before that, who kept messing with her, of course, found the opportunity to run out. Like he was falling out of the pit. Oh, puts yeah. Puts his whole arm down her shirt. Oh. My cousin was standing next to her and like just slammed the dude back into the pit. And it's just like, bro, it's just like, what kind of Come dude on. does that? It's so disrespectful and so just like wrong, like, terrible Man. human being thing to do. But anything having to do with any kind of groping of a woman, even if like, cause I know sometimes there's women that are out there that like want to flash or into that. Like, that's cool. Leave that alone. Doesn't mean that you got to mess with them. Or, yes. Like, yeah. I, I hate seeing that. Like, everyone yeah. enjoy that. Set that one exactly, time when yeah. you say, yeah, exactly. It's like, in, enjoy that women are showing themselves to you. If, if you yeah. are into that, then just enjoy the site. Why are you, <laughs> yes. you messing? It's after like, it. yeah. yeah, just chill out. I, cool. I hate when I see that. Clap, oh. give her a thumbs up but no you're right um i remember punk rock shows when i was a kid you know a lot of people would would uh crowd surf and when the, oh, yeah. whenever mm -hmm. the girls would crowd oh, surf, you just God. see hands come up yep. Every and it's disgusting. gnarly dude time i what? see a girl get crowd surfed yeah. you that's, can just that's watch a great the hands one. grow I hate that's that. so fucked up yeah. Yeah. so we got show etiquette we got so beefy that, guys on the shoulders yeah. super making out are we gonna yeah yeah that's I bad that, that is yeah, bad yeah. i think it's kind of good and bad you're not as bad Cause there could be kids there. Yeah. I'm leaning good, but bad. And then, um, what's the third one? The groping of women. Yeah, yes. I hate. It's I a hate good that. solid list. I think list. we have a fourth one that you yeah, got you brought up you know, earlier. It makes me think because I was watching something. I think it was Joe Rogan or some some comedian was talking about their experience, uh, doing comedy sets, right? Doing tours, and they're talking about and uh, how people will heckle them. And how it just fucks up their performance. Can I say fuck? Is yeah. this a non fuck show? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, fuck's yeah. good. Someone already yeah. probably said I always do this that on radio shows. Show. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about how, you know, it, it fucks up their whole set and they can't stand it and hecklers are the worst and you gotta kinda own them when you're and I get it for a comedian because they don't have a band like us. They don't have anything behind them. It's just that. But I'm like, man, if only you knew what it was like being a musician, because what you consider heckling is just a show to us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you have people doing every little thing. I mean, in the middle of a song, they, you know, free bird or just, you know, play mm -hmm. this or people tugging on your leg or, hey, can I go picture with you? And I'm like, I'm in the middle, of a, middle set. of a set. Yeah. I've had a bassist before, like someone walked up and like tried to fuck with his amp because oh. they wanted the settings different. They were like, whoa, oh, I'm helping wow. you out, man, bro. <laughs> like, yep. Shit like that. And so he's well, like, they're going to hire me after this set. Uh, this yeah, is my right. Like, no, we don't just. Go away. <laughs> Let us play and then yeah. we'll take your advice. <laughs> shit. We the worst one though, this is very little. To me, it just it hurt my feelings. You know, I'm a sensitive guy and it hurt my feelings. I was in the middle of a set, we were playing with uh Bad Fish, the Sublime Cover band. Mm -hmm. And homeboy, the entire set, this guy with a cowboy hat, I'll never fucking forget. A cowboy hat was just flipping me off the entire set. Just like that, just mouthing, fuck you. Like I was oh, like, shit. why, man? Why? And 
it's actually kind of a good segue to how like sometimes we will be treated differently because our position a little bit. Yeah. Because then after that, I, I Badfish asked me to come up and sing Badfish with them because it was like a fun thing for the fans or whatever. Yep. And the dude was there to see Badfish. He's like friends with them. And I came and sang them and I saw the guy going like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I, I thought shouldn't. this guy was just some shitty opening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because if I was anyone else, he wouldn't have done that. But then he, it clicked in his head. And he came by the merch booth afterwards. Yeah, we were all sitting at the merch booth after the. And the I was show. super not down to let it fly. We were all yeah. the bands were there. It was like the last night of the run, and I was like, "Dude, why were you flipping me off?" And he's like, "What? Oh, what do you mean, man?" And I was I'm just like, joking. And I was like, "No, you flipped me off during my whole set. That's not cool. I'm trying to like perform for you guys. You, you why?" And he was like, "No, I meant it like punk rock. Like fuck yeah, like, right? No, <laughs> like, no, you, you were not like, fuck yeah. you, not yeah. fuck yeah." yeah. 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 He went out and changed oh. his cowboy hat. He's all, he won't notice it was me. He went up to the merch booth. God damn it. He called me out. It's hilarious because I didn't notice it when we were playing. And then I was standing at the merch booth and we saw the guy come out of like yeah. the House of Blues, like into the little hallway area. And Jake's like, look, it's the guy. I'm like, no fucking way. I was so mad. I was, was, I was, so mad. I was not hat. cool. And I, I didn't let him. I wasn't chill. About it. He I was love like, that you went right up to him. We're just like, dude, what the fuck? Why yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. no, explain to me what I did wrong. Why fuck me? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't like, even confrontational. You didn't go at him. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck you. You're just like, dude, why would you do that? Like, like, yeah. so 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 cool. yeah. and yeah, and he ended up giving me a big old hug. And he apologized. <laughs> so well, someone's heckling you on stage. Go tell him afterwards, and they probably didn't mean it. I or, love that because it's <laughs> yeah, it's just like okay, you can go to a show to see a certain band. And just because the band that's performing isn't the band that you came to yeah. see doesn't mean fuck these guys. Like yeah. it's just, they're just a band out there trying to do their thing just like the other band that you came to see. Yeah. I love that. So what a funny, and, you, a lesson was learned that night. A lesson you was taught learned. him a lesson. <laughs> Dude. I'm and you telling know, you, I'm sure he felt freaking this yeah. small when you were talking to him like that. You could <laughs> tell man, his cow, his 10 gallon hat lost like nine gallons. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's just funny. Cause I, I feel like if you confront these people, they realize, oh shit, I'm not as anonymous as I thought. I like, they, they yeah. think they're just a face in the crowd of like all these hundreds also, of thousands of people. Us. It's like, I know everybody says it, but it's like, we're still dudes. Like we're not like some weird right. monolithic yeah. entity. It's well, like, man, I hurt my feelings. Why'd you say that? Like we're really yeah. working hard up here trying to like, yeah. you know, put on a good show. That's some people don't get, whether it's the comedian or the actor or, you know, the singer, whoever we're people, you know, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we just love doing this it happens to be our job and we're, we're here to entertain you, but we're also not here to like, you know, flip off. No, yeah. don't fuck us. No, no. Yeah. Unless we want to be fucked. That's <laughs> yeah. a totally different story. <laughs> we no. get that. Yeah. Some punk bands, they're like, yeah, fuck you. And the crowd, yeah. fuck you. And they spit on them. <laughs> yeah. That was one that I hated. Like, yeah. do yeah. not don't spit. spit. Yeah. At, oh, no, no, no. That's not cool. No, I don't no, care no, how no. punk yeah, yeah. 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 Fit th Never this band is. We don't want to spit. This day and age, you spit on someone. That's like, that's assault, brother. Yeah. Oh thing. man, no, but that does remind me that one of the first tours the Dirty Heads ever did, uh, which we should not have been on, but it somehow it just it came together that we got thrown on this tour. We didn't even have a band yet. It was just me and Jared, and we had John John, our percussion player, and our buddy Rick was the DJ, and that was it. That's all we had. And uh, we went out on Rock the Bells tour, opening up for Wu Tang. Oh no my shit. god! Yeah, and okay. it, we were like. 21 maybe ish yeah. like young kids young white kids going and opening yeah. up for wu-tang you know <laughs> i had an acoustic guitar and like a <laughs> percussion player That's up there you know <laughs> but so we go up there and for the most part you know we were playing pretty early so most of the nights there wasn't a crap load of people there and they just a lot of times no one was paying attention except for maybe at this time the 10 people that were there to mm -hmm. see us you know right. but i remember this one show i think it was like a house or house of blues or something and there actually was another band that came that was opening up for us like a local band so we were second of three that night playing a little later by the time we went on it was a little more packed in and there was just this one kid up front and and this <laughs> was a very, this was wu tang so you got to yeah. imagine there it was a lot of you know uh it was a lot of ethnicity going on in the yeah. crowd every night, you know, yeah. a lot of different, you know, but this kid I'll never forget because he was like, he was exactly what you would picture, like a very skinny white kid yeah. with like, right. you know. Yeah. Killer B sweatshirt. Total, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, and the whole entire set, he was front row, just Fuck you guys! Yeah. Wu Tang, Wu Tang, get the fuck off the stage! Just like, un oh, like really loud. No. We were like, Jesus 
Jesus Christ. Dude. And you guys are trying to do your thing. Like, we're you're like, already out of, you know. <laughs> we're like, we know we're very out of place here. Huh. We get it. But just leave us alone for our 25-minute yeah. set we have. You and know? I, like, here's what I love about that. Do you think Wu-Tang's going to come out here? Like, they're saying, scheduled yeah. to go on at yeah. 10.45, and they're going to be late. They're going to yeah. go on at yeah. 11.30, yeah. all right? So you can yell Wu-Tang for yeah. the next four Did hours. someone call us? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go get Method Man and tell him to get out of here. Like, yeah. Method Man's know what's at happening the on their stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Method Man's not going to be here not for here, no, dude. No, it's very stoned it's so right now. They were cool though. They, you know, they they actually were pretty nice to us and whatnot. You know, and <laughs> sure, uh, that's you cool. know, they we were we were just like the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, guys, go on do you your open. thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's rare anymore. That I like. You've met so many bands and, and totally. big famous people. And I've met some of them at being on tour with you at big festivals. Yeah. I rarely met a single person that was a dick rarely. outright. Maybe they're dicks behind the scenes, but yeah. I guess in person, at least most we've people have been really one, nice. We've met one. You had a dick where experience? We were just like, oh, really? I'm not even going to mention who it was or what band. Who was it? I don't, don't want to get into <laughs> what it. What band? But just one, say their but, first and last name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what date was the show and where? <laughs> okay. Give well, let's, just say let's just say their band has... One hint, it, abracadabra is I, is is one hint that would maybe I work with their that. band. I Just gonna exactly. leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, moving along. Wait, have I made fun of this band before? I don't think so. No. Okay, a different I'm abracadabra. Not, All right. The no. song name is not abracadabra. Steve Miller. Yeah. yeah no. Huh. I'm just Dang, saying I that thought I had it. I made, <laughs> fun of, I made fun of that very song That's on this hint. show. That's, That's why I, I love Steve Miller, but. Have you guys broken down the song Abracadabra lyrically before? No. Oh. If not. Do you know the song, right? Abra, Abracadabra. I like the yeah. song. Gang, gang, gang. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> then you listen. I heat up. I, I can't, can't cool down. down. <laughs> Got me spinning. Around and round. <laughs> I don't even remember the lyrics. Round and round. Yeah. Round it goes. Literally, oh, round yeah, and round. And down. Round, round it goes. goes. Like five rounds. In seven words, five of them are round. Round and round, round it goes. Where it stops. No one knows. Nobody Nobody knows. knows. You got I'm it. listening to, I was, I'm a barber. <laughs> what a great hit song, It's man. a banger. I'm a barber, so I'm in the barber shop, and the song's on every day. It's on our yeah. Pandora, and I'm just doing this, and then one day I'm like, Wait, who wrote this like a three-year-old with no face? Who wrote yeah. this song? You know, and then I brought it in here and just complained. Great song, fun riff, but if you listen to the lyrics, yikes. Anyway, that's a full other that's thing. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. I knew I guessed. Wait, you got what is it? Are, if you have you um, unearthed the band? I, I knew it. I fucking I don't even know who that wait, is. Is that a band? Is that can I say that out? Is it the thing with the they exclamation? The one, I'll tell you. You yeah. guys, yeah. Luke they got the one hit, but yeah. I don't even know. I do not me know and, who me that is. Me and Dakota, is. the old bass is in the band. We used you to know play who that. that is, the trust big, me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play the hit song. After they, okay. Yeah. I mean, not that they've got it. They could have any song. Who can knows we who please make fun of them? Play the song and can we get copyright infringement and make fun of them for 30 minutes? No? No. All right. Duddy uh, will tell everyone. <laughs> we had kind of a different experience being opening bands. I think I can count on like three fingers of the bands that have actually been cool to us. We've had run-ins. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah most bands are very, names, we won't but... say either, but yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They are our names within that sphere, actually, that you mentioned. And uh, yeah. a lot of bands are not nice. Well, what I'm noticing is really? like uh, the top the more top tier bands like you guys we played with you one time at the santa barbara bowl and you guys were super oh, cool yeah, to santa us. Barbara bowl, right and then we yeah. did some shows yep. slightly stupid and they were like the the top people are always super cool and chill because like super nice yeah. they're, they're just having a good time doing their thing it's the mid-level guys uh, who are, like, get a little it. Bitter in between who are, are yeah. so just dicks but, but and but about weird things. Things. it's like going five minutes over a set time or, mm-hmm. or oh, I remember who, that. who drank yeah. my fucking stella yeah. Didn't you guys know yeah, that on yeah. the rider, the Stellas are for the fucking headliners? You guys don't no get the Stellas. No way. Yeah. I, don't, I remember stuff like that for sure. Yeah. It's That's, just, yeah, I remember That's doing weird. a tour with a band that would take every single dressing room. No. Every no. night. What band? <laughs> one is for the coke and one is for the chicks. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No joke. There was... Uh, I'll never forget. There was one, one is for night. the... No. There was <laughs> like, just for coke room. Oh, no, coke dude. Room. It was like... <laughs> You know, it was like, it was different rooms, band room, band room, crew room, weight room, you know, 
Headroom. Med- meditation <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> just, meditation just room. room. I feel like I'm... Family room, quiet room, just everything. No. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. We have, like, can we have even just like half of a room so yeah. we can at least sit down so we're not just sitting in our Dude, van? Dude, if we had fucking gummy we worms on our ride, yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. This was van days too. So I remember there were yeah. some days we were like, Dude. I think my band you was know, never big enough to experience. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm realizing uh, my band was never a threat to anyone, so they were nice to us. <laughs> yeah. If you're on your way up, maybe you get a little hate from the. Yeah, we yeah, got a little hate sometimes because people would be mm-hmm. like, "You only get tours because your brother's in the dirty." We would get that shit, but really? that would, oh yeah, oh. there was there was probably five people that would say that, yeah. and then we'd go. Yeah. yeah, I would literally go. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly why I'm getting and tours because of the connections yeah, through yeah, my yeah, brother. Yeah. And that guy Duh. would walk away on his buddy's shoulders, just like, oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. And then he would go aggressively yeah. make out with his chick in front of. Yeah. Oh my god, make out with each other. Oh, He'd do a shirtless on shoulder make out with two of them. <laughs> Dude, Someone's got to attempt girls. that. Even though uh, we're supposed to be about bad show etiquette, but so I don't want to like up the ante. But if someone, if a couple can get on one guy's shoulder. And aggressively make out on the shoulder. On the one the guy's shoulder. shoulder. On the one guy's Ooh, shoulder. I like that. You'll I be, would celebrate that, right? Yeah, that, then yeah. it's you're taking bad etiquette to like an art form. I'll tell you what. <laughs> backstage pass if I see that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, no, Duddy. There's going to be. Oh, my whole next show is going to be right. people making out yeah. on shoulders. <laughs> oh, no. Daddy, Don't look fall. for us. Don't fall. <laughs> we'll be the Eiffel Tower in the center of the city. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do we all three get the passes or there's okay. going to be a lot of questions coming in? Mm, a lot in. of questions. So are we still on <laughs> that goes show for law too. Segment? Backstage passes <laughs> for any Eiffel Tower, any sexual oh, triangle man. as well. <laughs> guy, 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 girl, girl, binding. girl, guy, girl. We don't have to do that. Oh. <laughs> Semi-legally binding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever your uh, fucking, what is it? Your denomination. What's the thing online now? Your pronoun, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. If we could get oh, a yeah. guy, girl, Zem <laughs> triangle, that's, the tri- I don't know. You get the whole tour for free. Yeah, You're in the band. The, the, the band stuff. I will say our last tour that we did before COVID shut everything down with Bad Fish and Tropodelic was the best tour we ever did. And they were Nicest so dudes. good to us. Nice. Such good awesome. dudes. Yeah. We, the first really time chill. we did like a, a tour or run of shows where like every single night we actually were having good interactions because normally we get yelled at or people. Dude, problems, the, but the, the Bad Fish one time gave up their rider so all the other dudes in the bands could have food from the venue that night. Yeah. Which is a cool thing. Awesome. It, it was crazy to hear. They probably yeah. didn't really think about it. They're like, oh yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, they probably, yeah. it was, it was so a normal little like, thing. For us, like little guys but to us, huge. Yeah. Yeah. huge. That's such a big Because we're trying to yeah. scrounge together chains to like get food after. Just to get gas to make it to the next Exactly. We slept in our van that night in Walmart. Oh yeah. Many of those nights that I hear that they're like cutting back on that but yeah bands used to just spend that the night in walmart yeah. i mean because they allow like trailers and stuff overnight, yeah. overnight, overnight parking. parking hopefully yeah. they don't crack down because that, that kind of screws yeah. that, yeah. 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 that, that still comes in handy when we're in a bus dude if we, yeah, we might still well. do that shit if you're in between yeah. places a little oh, ahead man. of time or something walmart figures they'll come in to go to the bathroom and they'll buy some food and yeah. they're oh, right 100%. we always yeah. do what yeah. I, did. I bought toothpaste that time yeah. there you go and i took a shower in their sink yeah i know it's really they're losing on the deal how many like hobo showers we've Taken in sure. Walmarts, oh, like yeah. eight of us in a row. So great, yeah. Just waiting in the line. <laughs> they lost money on paper towels alone, having us go into their Walmarts. <laughs> oh, yeah. All that right, is dude. funny. But yeah, I've briefly had a chance mm-hmm. to meet some of the guys from Bad Fish, but not much. But mm-hmm. we've had Tropodelic actually on the show, and I've oh, ran oh, into some cool. of them on the road as well. And they're really cool. They're homies. Yeah, yeah, they're really they're good su- dudes such nice dudes. It was the opposite. It's instead like, hey, do you want one of our Stellas? We know you guys didn't get a ride. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was like the, totally yeah. the opposite of the other. And experience. that's how it should mm-hmm. be when you're all out on yeah. the road like that. It's like you're all kind of in this together. We're all yeah, out exactly. here trying to put on a good time for these people tonight. Yep. You know, one big traveling circus. Exactly. That's how I love it. Felt so when dudes just like be dicks or like wall themselves off it's like dude we're all doing this together it's like why not make yeah why make it a bad time on purpose why not just have fun we yeah. gotta spend the next you know sometimes two months together yeah. and whatnot you're like why make it uncomfortable exactly right, exactly you know? but i think we've made it through that new show etiquette that was segment. Yeah. that Good was segment. went on it took I like seven it. right left and straight turns <laughs> but let's get into law like what's up with you guys right now obviously not a lot of touring yeah <laughs> it's hard to do stuff obviously because you know the the no pandemic shows. and everything no shows so we started doing a patreon thing that's oh, kind of been the awesome. little temporary mm-hmm. solution is you know maybe we can get that going and uh what we do for that is we produce videos every week we uh there's three band members and so each one takes a turn doing a different video each week and then by the end of the week we do a patrons only video which is like a behind the scenes deal or whatever and uh even though it's still just kind of growing it's been just tons of fun man just getting to tap into that different side of stuff you know a lot of the videos are like demos of stuff that's going to be in future releases and everything mm-hmm. and uh right now it's just like the core you know fans 
um shout out to the mitches and uh and also Dave Vines. Vines. And, yeah. <laughs> and it has nice it seems like almost everything you guys do has like a and comedic yeah. tilt to it yes that's true man it's funny you know like uh we're both big huge tenacious d fans yeah but uh we also it's a weird fine line because we don't want to be taken as like we are a comedy act yeah mm-hmm. we just love like what we just did that whole show etiquette we love fucking around with other bands and just yep. talking shit and having a good time because that's what life's all about you know and totally. entertainment is all about us smiling and having a good time and mm-hmm. laughing but uh we die by our music man we love it yeah. Yeah. as cliche as that sounds it's just it's everything does i think we've Absolutely learned everything. over the years of doing it we tried being super serious in the beginning and being like the mysterious band where no one knows anything about us but it's like we're really goofy and funny and like we play video games and real like we're super we're, we're not very serious we're not that cool we're, we're pretty nerdy and goofy so yeah adding an element to that is just yeah. more of us and it's, it's more, more genuine and real yeah it's more us instead of trying to be some rock star weird thing it's so true because honestly in the end people will start to see through that Absolutely. If, if that's not really who you are yeah. and to be honest people love to hear your music and then when they find out about you and realize yeah. oh my god these guys are just like goofballs and mm-hmm. buddies they love that mm-hmm. that even makes it better it's like oh they're just real people these are just buddies making music and they're yep. just goofballs that's awesome, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. I yeah. mean, that's why our fans like us. We're a bunch of goofballs as well, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, you guys have, like, a really good time here, and, like, there's definitely yeah. that that vibe of having fun and just laughing. That's totally. what keeps people around, man. Yeah. I, I, I've said it before on the show, is the early days of Dirty Heads, obviously the um, Lay Me Down song was a banger of a hit, and that blew mm-hmm. you guys up, but at the same time, like, YouTube and just online videos were becoming mm-hmm. a thing, and... And I was on tour with you guys at that time and it was like all comedy videos backstage. And mm-hmm. I know that that did a lot to make their fan base like never leave because yeah. it showed the side of you guys that we're just fucking around and having fun and making music. That's and awesome. Mm-hmm. That sells it. And so with you guys, you guys started law together? It, no, actually. No. Uh, I joined two years after the band joined. Well, started, actually. I consider him a founding member though. Well. I mean, he was the first <laughs> lead guitarist in the band. I mean, I uh. guess we don't count. I never really did too much lead stuff. The, mm-hmm. I founded the, the band started in 2013 with me and my brother Dakota. Um, we're not blood related, but uh, got a friend I grew up with that we really, families are really close. Mm-hmm. And uh, we started law and uh, my uncle Miguel, uh, Michael Happel from Sublime, mm-hmm. he found this drummer named nick aguilar he saw him play at dp oz's opening up uh or not opening up playing with mike watt so nick was the like 14 from the Minutemen. yeah okay, yeah old 80s punk band yeah exactly and so he just saw him play gloria man was like oh my god this guy's perfect and he just kind of connected the dots and so uh i remember the day that law first jammed dakota was actually sick that day i think i, remember <laughs> I don't think story. he'll ever, it, ever remember or or but I remember like he, he was really sick and he had to stay home and me and Nick met up at the compound and up in Signal Hill. Mm-hmm. It's unnecessarily detailed story. The compound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we jammed and we had fun and we nice. sounded like shit for years and then Aiden joined and we sounded a little better. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. He same. joined during the first album though. We hadn't even recorded. Okay. Yeah. We hadn't toured yet. Oh, we were yeah. still like I, I can, You're founding. Well, yeah, dude. Founding. Like, we started we were in the studio for our very first little EP thing. Which is 17th Street actually. 17th nice. Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing Anabi. your guys' stuff up there. That was yesterday <laughs> yeah you lose the man yeah 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 we had mike d from zen where i would do that shout out to mike he's our nice, boy nice. <laughs> friends with mike too yeah, and i think i came in i like joined right at the beginning of 2015 and i think you guys had already done a couple sessions on that first ep mm-hmm. and then i joined through the last two sessions and i just did a bunch of guitar stuff and yep nice Aiden's been with us ever since yeah mm-hmm. perfect and same drummer dakota on drums Oh, Dakota was the bass player. He's oh, no sorry, longer in, he's no longer with us. But I mean, he's alive. But he, he's <laughs> alive. oh shit, oh, he's like, no <laughs> longer with us. The bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the dark. This is it's not the ghost segment. Yeah, it's not the ghost story segment. Uh, but yeah, no, he he's uh, on bass. He still does music. Uh, Dakota Wolf, check him out online. But um, uh, drummer Nick is yeah. He's been the main drummer. We we've, we've got a couple. He's different come in and out two times, but he's yeah. he's here to stay this time. He's here yes. to stay this time. Nice. Yeah, I think. Yeah, got him trained down. Yeah, he wanted to be listening. here. By the way, he's not going he, make it. he could not make it. He had a. He works at a record store, so he got to ah, dope. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. It was probably we'll shut down we'll for half the year. He's, yeah. oh, dude, he's got to go to work. Mm-hmm. So when you started the band, you guys said you you were figuring out your vibe, and then obviously so Jacob, obviously yeah. you're the son of Bradley from Sublime, and there's you already know when you start this band, everyone's going to know who you are. So you already know eyes are going to be on me. Totally. So was it, was it, is that why you had a, maybe a minute of figuring out what am I going to come out like? Everyone's oh, already completely. looking at me with thinking what I should be, right? I'm sure. 
Completely, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that is the double-edged sword of that thing. You kind of brought it up too, like the whole like people say this is the only reason I'm on getting this tour is because of these connections. And I've had those same experiences, except it's not as it's not what people think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause okay, maybe I'll get an extra thousand hits on a video that some other band at our level wouldn't get. Except 90% of those have this pre-built in bias to where it's either like, I love it because he sounds just like his dad, or I, or I hate it because he sounds just like his dad, or I love it because he sounds nothing like his dad, or I hate it because he sounds like, <laughs> like yeah. you're like, which one is which it? Which one do yeah. I have to be? And so the answer is, you know, just like we said, be your own goofy self, just yeah. make it genuine and stuff. But no matter what, we we get those and those those things do hurt because it's like we spend so fucking much trying to get our product to be perfect like yeah. how we want it in our heads only to have someone I'll, I, I'll see the comments like one recently was like I spent my whole life waiting for someone to come and replace Bradley and then I see this shit well it's okay I guess I think some vocals kind of sound like Robin in the hood and I'm like dude I don't know yeah. they, they even said yeah. the album name wrong right there like I don't I'm like, yeah. I'm not trying to be that like, yeah wow yeah you're like why are you putting this like pressure yeah. on me to you know that's, that's so insane it's, it's crazy like, I, I think it's dope that they love that band because they're an amazing band they're super formative and unique but and I could never be anything like that and I don't plan to be and I don't want to mm-hmm. be and so uh, to answer your question early on I thought that that was like what I had to play yep. was mm-hmm something within that Cali rock kind of sphere. But um, it's actually once Aiden joined, he's like, oh, so you like listening to uh, oh, yeah, a lot we, of that style. We bond over stuff. Like, you, yeah. like we wearing like Alice in Chain shirts and like we, he, uh-huh. like the first time I ever listened to Tool is actually with you. We listened to Anna and I say, and like yeah. we were listening to like Tool and Queens of the Stone Age and Alice in Chains and I'm like, yeah. where is this in the music? And he's like, whoa, whoa, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing. I'm like, and then we just started writing more stuff of yeah. stuff that we actually like and listen yeah. to. Me and Aiden have always been like the ones who have written together in the cool. and done that's that cool. kind of thing and that's how it, all this new material is we spent mm-hmm. a lot of time in the quarantine recording this upcoming album called lawful evil and yep. it's more like our definitive sound what we mm-hmm. want law to be so yep. there still is elements that i'm inspired by sublime but not as his, uh, his son is just because they're a great band and yep. mm-hmm. i like to say that you know our band it sounds like all your other favorite bands mixed together <laughs> like, yeah it sounds totally, like all our man. favorite bands mixed together no, <laughs> it's I a love super it, you know? unique sound that you guys have very, you know yeah. thank you like it's, he said earlier like obviously it would have been very easy for you to start mm-hmm. a reggae rock band go out there it's great but that's not what <laughs> that's not who you are so mm-hmm. i love it you're making a unique sound and thank it really you. is it's thank cool you. thank you it doesn't sound like sublime but certain times when you're singing you definitely, yeah, I, just, you, can just genetics. you can hear it. You can hear it, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, there and it and is I love that bit, compliment you know? because he's a fucking awesome singer. Totally. My dad was Insane. great. Like, well, and, yeah, uh, too, I'm happy. It's, it's like, for me, sorry to cut you off, but no, like the, the sublime comparison thing, like obviously you're his son. I get it. But to me, you're, like Jake's a totally different style and kind of singer to me. It's 100%. like Brad was the soulful like singer, songwriter, guitar player. Jake will like blow your face off with so much pat I me. Mean, oh, obviously, thanks, man. I never saw Brad wasn't alive. I, I, I didn't see them live, obviously, but it's to me, Jake is much more of like the classic front man, like gonna stand up there and like dominate a stage kind of thing. Yeah. And he has a different voice. I mean, Jake just has more range, more power. It's just different. The vocalists that always excited soulful. me were like, you know, Plant and uh, fucking uh, uh, Mercury. Mer- How did you fucking know what I was gonna What's say? What's you talking about the other day? Yeah, <laughs> Mercury and, you know, and, 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 Maynard, and Maynard. Those are the biggest. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell them what you think about Queen, Jake? This is a comedy bit. No, you. Yes. I love ripping. That's been dude. running on the show for a long <laughs> time. Queen is, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> Daddy, I need to hear this. Luckiest band ever. I doesn't. I don't. Why? Get it. I don't agree. <laughs> why? Well, I want to hear the why. Because first, Wayne's World comes. Like, this, this is really is not gonna. Oh. And then, oh, the whole world anew. And then, no, wait, what year did Wayne's World totally come right out with that? Thank, see, because thank Queen, you, Aiden. No, you're, I, I know. Yeah, Aiden, I, mean, no, I knew one day no, someone would totally see. you're right with the resurgence of Queen because they, they, they were big in the 70s and they were cool in the 70s. Huh? I hate all their 80s stuff. It's so cheesy and so over the top power ballad And they like totally fell out of favor I in America. No one have cared about them in America. <laughs> they were big in Europe and like overseas. It wasn't until Wayne's World that Bohemian Rhapsody hit with American audiences and they yes. blew up here. And they, they, I was like, a no young child and it worked 80s. on me. I was like, yeah. Galileo, yeah. who the fuck? And then Queen, yeah. we got the greatest <laughs> yeah. hits album. as no, young children, right. Daddy and I. Thank so you so much. And was then, just a, a farce? I mean, they- band didn't happen. What, what was that? Was that 78? band I don't know. What year band aid band No, and here's the thing too. Live Aid, It's like my in and out thing. They're great and they're amazing. This is not a diss on Queen. They're the shit. Mm-hmm. Guitar player, Freddie Mercury, everyone in yeah. that band, the songs are great. 
But the luck of these guys oh, with absolutely. Wayne's World. And then yeah. where'd they go? They're relegated to whatever. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, Bohemian Rhapsody. And yeah. you guys know, you couldn't pull up to a red light with, without all three cars yeah, exactly. around you blaring Queen for exactly. six months because of that movie. So true. And then I proclaim that they were the luckiest band ever. Mm -hmm. And I've been punished ever since on this podcast. <laughs> well, let's be honest, because there's definitely luck in Until Aiden got, locked oh, in. Yeah. The no, reason yeah. why... Bohemian Rhapsody was in Wayne's World is because it's an amazing I mean, yes, fucking that, that, song. That's the foundation oh, of all yes, this. That's, 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 that's the point. foundation yeah. of every, whatever he said is yes, and then add the luck of yeah. the two movies. And then I'm sure there'll be another thing in 10 years. There'll be another right. movie Probably. about Queen. They'll yeah. do one about well, the why, bass yeah, player. That's why, yeah, for the Live Aid set, it's like they played like in the middle of the day. They weren't a headline. They weren't like Eric Clapton, I think, was one of the like, they weren't a headlining band. They they weren't that huge of a draw in like America at that time. And they, obviously they're still giant bands. Yeah. But it's not like now where they're like in the Pantheon. They weren't that band then. So I, you're totally right. The Wayne's World thing, I think the movies made yeah. them that band. I mean, them. to tie yeah. that back to what we were talking about, they were a band that always did what was them. You yeah, know, and they, totally they were goofy. Did. They were crazy. They were always out Operatic. there. Yeah. And sometimes maybe Big they'll time. never get mm -hmm. noticed because it does take that little bit of luck. But if you did, if you were doing the whole thing and holding it down and just being mm -hmm. yourselves and being as much as you could be yourself if that gets noticed the rest is history man yeah, that's so true yep, i think that's our true. our hope right now because we're still not where we want to be i don't think anyone ever is where they want to be there's always yeah. that next fucking yeah, staircase ste every step. time i think you yeah. you think you know where you want to be you mm -hmm. eventually get there and, and you're like yeah exactly man so then you get so big that it. you want to go back <laughs> yeah. i want to go to do a small club tour again you're like holy shit the only place to go is back in time yeah yeah you got to be happy with the present you got to be happy with what we do and i love if if fucking no more than 100 people ever see the youtube videos i make where we fucking are goofing around dressing up in costumes i think all had a great Life we're now. in a better spot about yeah. now i think before with some of the previous members and some of the different iterations of the band i think especially too we held <clears throat> excuse me jake to an unfair it wasn't even about him but just the whole sublime thing and the perceived like oh we're going to be a successful band because of all the visibility and all this stuff like everything literally every single thing we did was do or die if we put out a video and it didn't get a million like this views, has to be the one yeah, like, it, yeah. every single thing that didn't pop off we took as a failure and then we took it out on each other not in such a direct way where it's like fuck you, it's your fault, but it's just like the animosity and the tension yeah. that would come from that. It was just bad, it was toxic. It was just, it just wasn't working. And we so, have an EP called Toxic. We do have an EP called Toxic. <laughs> nice. It's a very toxic time. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think- Damn, it's like a therapy now, session. This is yeah. very therapeutic. But it, yeah, this is honestly good. really great though. Cause how old are you guys? You're what are you, mid twenties? How old are you? Yeah. I'm 25, Yeah, 23, 24. 23. Gonna turn 24 mm -hmm. this year. So nice. you've yeah. gone through so much already in this band and you're yeah. able to sit back and analyze it from afar. You guys are yeah. looking at yourself from above the way you're talking, which is mm -hmm. not an easy, good thing you know, to do young. Yeah. And you're able to just be honest about why you were mad at each other. You're even being very open about. Yeah. Well, that's why we're able to still you know, do all that's of why this. Through all of it, me and Jake, they're only two that persevered the whole time. Right. Aiden and I worked out our shit, uh, Nick yeah. too, but we, we've just had a lot of members to where, you know, they're great musicians. <laughs> everyone everyone who's ever played in law is, is great. awesome musician. I want to yeah. say that. And check them out if you ever, awesome if they still got fans out there and stuff. But mm -hmm. I think that you got to have that some kind of working not even chemistry you just got to be able also to just work respect. together it's just yeah. like you, you got to respect yeah. each other and not <clears throat> there's just lines that would get crossed with everybody before and it's like it's hard to come back from that if mm. you have somebody but luckily jake and i worked it out because i mean we didn't always have the best relationship but yeah. it's like it just takes a concerted effort from whatever amount of parties to be like look this is the way that it was. And from this day forward, it's going to be different. And you totally. got to stick to it. Because if you yeah. don't, then what's the fucking point? Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's a band out so. there for everyone that would fit in. And sometimes you just got to accept like, hey, I don't think this group of people works. And that's yeah, totally man. fine. And that's too. fine. That's, it's, it is. And it's funny. It you know, it's, musicians are artists, really. Yeah. Artists are right. emotional. Right. It's true. <laughs> you know, so true. There's, totally. You're going to be ups and downs. You're going to have differences. You're going to not see eye to eye on things. And that's happened in the Dirty Heads multiple times. Yeah. But... Do you all have the same passion and yeah. the same like, you know, mm -hmm. vision for the project? And yeah. you can work through those problems and you really can. But sometimes it's like some of those problems show somebody, you know what? I don't have the right vision. Yeah. I'm out of here. This project's not for me. Yeah. And if that happens, it happens. Some of those know? things are deal breakers. And when yeah. that happens, it sucks. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, not everybody is going to have the same exact vision or passion in the yeah. same way. And even then, it's hard to even get all those people to be on the same page at the same time, not even for just little stretches. They're not even for like forever, but just even little stretches of time to yep. get everybody on the same page. I mean, it's really hard. 
I mean, it, it sounds, that's why we're so happy now. It's like being in a band, but we, we finally know. got to a point with our group where we're all just getting along, having a good time all the time, and we can we can tell each other ideas without it being a fucking thing. And now the world's shut down. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's, I love it. It's the universe's joke. Right? It's like you guys had to take your time to get to this point, and now. But shit guys pops back off. Yeah, 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 right. you guys are, yeah. yeah, but so fuck, we're just man. waiting for it to happen again, man. Because uh, well, yeah. shit, if you can make it through that, and then this, yeah. Now you're really fucking ready, there and you're go. young so. as shit. So you've got plenty of time Thank to you, keep man. growing. Yeah, we already you're, feel like old no, men. See, no. yeah, that's what freaks me. I know I'm only 25, so and I already get this complex because nowadays young artists pop off so young, yeah, so young. I mean, you know. A young lady won several hundreds of Grammys, I think. <laughs> and like, oh, and she yeah. deserves them because they're amazing and they had a great time. But it's interesting. And I'll think, you know, I found out a couple months ago that Post Malone is actually younger than I am. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what <laughs> yeah. the heck? Yeah. This sucks. Jesus Christ. I love his music. He's awesome. But like, I'm just like, yeah. man, yeah. What, when did this happen? Like, <laughs> yeah. so you'll, you'll think sometimes that like, oh, I can't do it anymore because of this. But that's not true. No, you know, it's not. No matter what, when, what time in your life, something could always just fucking mm -hmm. pop off. You, you never, never know. know. Yeah. And you know what? When Even you, if it doesn't. When it, I mean, the Dirty Heads, we didn't. We were doing it for 10 years yep. before we really got moving, you know, and we didn't even really, re oh, we yeah. didn't even really start Big like time. making money till probably 15 years into it. They got you know? signed like, by Warner Brothers, got that, so that got out of that contract. Like yeah. it, it went oh, yeah. everything all before Lay Me Down hit. I mean, they, oh, really? they, yeah, really? they were in their oh, later Lay 20s. Oh, way before. About nine or 10 years in. I didn't even you know. Man, yeah. That is so good to hear. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah. just as a, from our perspective, it's so cool to hear about that. Ever. You know, I listened to you guys actually when I was in high school. Okay. I, had, I, I, I had a girl. That song came out. I was on the radio every single day. Oh, yeah. I, I think it, it was yeah. before that song came out that I, I, I listened to that song uh, audio a lot. And um, I had a girlfriend that just loved you guys and would play that album. That, that yeah. song audio was off. I forget which album it was. I think that was the first one. First one. Yeah. Uh, the song's Check yeah. the Level. Yeah, check the level, yes. right? Yeah, it's, yeah. I get the names of everything wrong. We talked about that, that Daddy. Name yeah. the chorus. Don't that fuck around. Just is, name it audio. audio. Yeah. I, I always say everything with what I my, sticks out of my head. But yeah, I, <laughs> I remember thinking, man, like, man, these guys are sick. They they blend these different styles and it fucking works. And that was what we always wanted to do with our music. Yeah. Just blend all the shit we like. No, oh, us yeah. too. I mean, we grew up on, you know, Beastie Boys, Sublime. Yeah. And there you go. Bands that love to like... Uh, you know, meld different styles. So yeah. it was, and it's nice that you can do anything when you do that. Cause we can right. go and do a full on kind of folky ballad mm -hmm. followed right. by a, a just strictly hip hop song. And our fans mm -hmm. are like, yeah, sweet. It's Dude, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's exactly. The That's awesome. Spot yeah. That we want to be in. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. for us too, I mean, we have a lot of different kind of material. I mean, we have the older stuff that's more reggae influenced. And mm -hmm. then we have the, I mean, we just, we're all over the place. We're very, I mean, we, we, we really have are, tool yeah. moments. We have like our, our pop, like, that's well, the thing poppy that we moments, well, metal moment. We, mm -hmm. you know, we we just want to explore all the different avenues that rock can yeah. offer because there's so there's so much, you know. Yeah. And you should, you know, it's like yeah. uh, I definitely feel nowadays more so than back when we were in high school. It's not so clicky with what yeah. type of music totally. you like. People are open to many different types of music, mm -hmm. and they're not so like I own. Well, I I shouldn't say metal because some people, if, yeah, 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 that oh, might be the yeah. one left. Oh, there is that might be the one still, left. Like, super the, heavy genres metal, of music. Well, right. yeah. And you know that the Dirty Heads do need to. Go back to their reggae we roots. We have to go back to our you reggae roots. You should return roots. to your reggae roots. We're constantly roots. told that. And we're like, what our to first few songs we put out were just hip hop songs. They were <laughs> barely reggae. All way. You guys were more hip hop -y. Well, if you look at like, our first two songs we put out were Antelope and I Got No Time. Zero reggae. And then everyone's like, go I back. wish they'd go back to the reggae <laughs> roots. <laughs> we're like, so funny, funny, dude. I love how we say nobody does that. Then we go, yeah, everybody does. Everybody exactly. does. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to do that to you guys. Yeah, but, I don't know. <laughs> they probably do it now because they always hear me making fun of it. Yeah, yeah go, so, back, go back yeah. to your roots, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one day I'll get back there. But don't stop exploring is what we're saying. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it, it's not as clicky, totally. Everyone's yeah. open to everything. You hear that a lot now when you ask someone, what kind of music do you like? Oh, a little bit of everything. That's, yeah, what, exactly. that's the number one thing you hear a random person say yeah. is because it's true. You, the, with the way music is, is consumed now, I feel yeah. like it's different than it used to be like even in the 90s, you know? Yep. Singles. It's no, like, it's I just got a playlist. The, the volume of which you can get through music now with Spotify and Apple, it's like, you don't have to put a CD in your car. Like, I want to listen to this song that makes me feel like this. I'm listening to a metal yep. song. I want to listen to a soft song. I just do that and like yep. fight. Like, it's, crazy. it's different. It's just, it's like, uh, what's the ADD generation? Yeah. Well, like, hey, hey, yeah. TikTok, TikTok. My, yeah. my little yeah. sister was making a TikTok last night. She goes, fuck, it's kind of long for a TikTok. I was like, how long can a TikTok be? She's like, <laughs> 60 seconds. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Way Wait, too how much. long yeah. is it then? Yeah. Is it 59 oh my, seconds? Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. You don't want to kill them a minute? Yeah, people I'm got shit, shit to do. <laughs> they got more shit to scroll. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Another video to watch I immediately know. after yeah. this video. Oh, man. Hey, I, I got to pee. You can make fun oh, of yeah. me. I know Go you pee. said it was a chill. We're going to make fun of you the entire time. Everyone make fun, please. All right, everyone, set your stopwatch. To Jacob's P length. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna pause this. <laughs> Jacob's P You're gonna pause it? I'm just gonna pause that. Well, I'll just take a quick little break. Okay, we are back. We all went P. Yes, four P's, and we're back time. all together. I did yes, not know one that toilet <laughs> was contagious, but Jacob was like, "I have to pee," and then we all immediately had to pee. Yes, we stood in a half circle around the toilet, and we all peed. None of us hit the side. Super accurate. And now it's time to get to everybody's absolute favorite part of the show. This is the longest it's ever taken us to get to. This, this is the first part of the show. This has been great. Uh, yeah. It's been like we've We're had so much fun. <laughs> yeah. You guys are getting two episodes this week. Well, I they're, feel they're, like the show etiquette segment was at least 30 minutes. <laughs> it was 30 yeah. to 57 minutes, dude. All right. So this is where you guys know what a conspiracy theory is or a conspiracy yeah, sure theorist. Do. He corners you or she at a party starts telling you things that are interesting and fun. And then you start your eyes glass over. They're telling you about the pyramids and the rivers yeah. underneath yep. and plutonium that, that, that and sounds fake. Too right. Much. And then you're just <laughs> back, you're back <laughs> away with fake. your beer. Yeah. You're backing down the <laughs> hallway and they're coming at you still. They're telling you about Lizard the people. Right. Well, have you heard about underneath Uganda? You're like, nah, I heard about it. I heard everything. I heard everything. I know everything. You know, and Dallas, like, right? That's not what Duddy does here. That's a conspiracy theory. They're telling you, here's my theory. Duddy has a, it's a query. Tell him again. This is a conspiracy query. Okay. <laughs> this isn't a theory. I'm not telling you, I believe this. I'm not trying to convince you that this is real. I didn't, uh, I, I, I didn't find this on the internet and now I believe it. And I go and try and spread the good word. I'm just simply asking you guys, if you believe in conspiracy queries. I believe all of them. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, they, Without perfect. Question. Well, right now, what we're doing is we're traveling around the globe, yes. finding everybody's favorite queries. And today, spin we, the globe, close I'm your spinning. eyes, no matter what continent, no matter where, where it lands. Throw the dart. Throw the dart. We yes, have yep. landed in our nation's capital, Virginia. Get out of here. Yeah. Right close to home. Oh, man. This one's fun. This one's called the Bunny Man Bridge. Doesn't sound scary. Sounds, Sounds like something my son would watch. He's not even two yet. Your son is Bunny terrifying. <laughs> you watching Bunny Man Bridge? Okay, well, this one comes from our friends once again at Thrillist.com. And why is it creepy? Luke's phone just went off, guys. <laughs> Ooh, he's That's fired. Creepy. Okay, the legend is fun to repeat at campfires, but the real sightings beyond the legend are some to give you nightmares. In 1970, there were numerous police reports of people who have been threatened by a man holding an axe, wearing a white suit with bunny ears. A few individuals reported that the man in the suit actually threw the axe at them for trespassing. To this day, there have been many sightings of dead rabbits appearing in the woods surrounding Fairfax Bridge, now known as the Bunny Man Bridge, as well as white figure, as well as a white figure appearing late at night underneath the bridge. Ooh, nice. I like that. So there's a, a guy who wears a white suit, not a bunny suit. It's like a white suit. I'm, I'm getting that. And, and bunny ears. Yeah, that is, yep. it's oddly worded, but yeah, yeah, we'll go with white tuxedo style suit. Yes. And then bunny ears. Now, yes. what kind of bunny ears? You think the ones stick straight up or, or more, more of a floppy, flashy you, type of yeah. ear? How do you think he styles them? I was Does figuring, I was seeing mania. they go up with the flap See, at the I'm tip. Seeing, There's a good, yeah. I'm seeing one up, Bugs bunny one style. flap. One Ooh. up, one flap kinda, style kinda bunny playboy ear. bunny almost. And you he know? Kind of <laughs> <has> <laughs> a, yes. He gives it a tilt to his neck. Yes. His neck has a tilt. A shirtless yep. man has been spotted with Playboy <laughs> Bunny style ears and an axe. He has a Playboy <laughs> Bunny tattoo right <laughs> above his waistline. A black bow tie adorn his shirtless ghost like chest <laughs> and an axe. One white see through thong <laughs> <laughs> and black tuxedo shoes with Those fluffy bunny tail. <laughs> <laughs> This guy doesn't sound scary no, anymore. Wait, no, we, we demystified it. He's partying. Yeah. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. um, so He's, what I'm confused about, though, is individuals reported that the man in the suit threw the axe at them for trespassing. Trespassing where? That was my question. On his carrot patch. Few individuals <laughs> yeah. To this day, there have been many sightings of dead rabbits. So why does the rabbit man kill rabbits? 
Interesting. Because now there's there's been sightings of dead rabbits appearing in the woods surrounding the Fairfax Bridge. That's all. I mean, it is creepy. It's it a cool is. thing. So I like what it. we got. I like it. I enjoy it. So people, why? Firstly, I mean, is, is it a beautiful sight? I don't know why people would go there unless I think they're going there now to hopefully see the bunny man. And then he comes out, you're trespassing and, and throws get an off axe. my uh, carrot patch. You, there you go. Yes. Whips the ghost axe. I'm assuming, ah, mm -hmm. and then it doesn't hit you okay, type we, of axe. Have we thought about this? Maybe he's pissed off because there's people out there killing his rabbits. Very true. Yeah, yeah. maybe he didn't kill the Very rabbits. True. It's these freaking teenagers, man. I they're out, and he's like, and they come out, they, they start killing these rabbits. Not cool. The pissed off rabbit owner comes nice. out in his white suit mm -hmm. and throws an axe at him. Huh. And he's wearing that white suit because he's a classy guy. He's you know, a classy guy. He likes to yeah. chill. Yeah. You know? He's wearing it because he's an oil tycoon he's from 1970. He's a 1920s oil tycoon. Yes. He's got a monocle and a <laughs> flint shot <laughs> stash. He, he was having a tea party with his daughter. <laughs> yeah. Plus the suit, the bunny ears. He looks out the window to see his bunnies mm -hmm. being murdered. Horrifying he runs sight. Out Grabs the axe, throws the axe. We have gotten to the bottom. This is of it. the absolute strangest one, and we've had some insane ones where three-legged women simply hit people's car and leave no damage. We've had. We oh yeah. so <laughs> no one want to hear about that. One. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll talk about that one. Uh, but let's let's figure out where yeah, this came from. Yeah, tell us from. where this all so comes legend from. Legend says that in 1904, a group of convicts were piled onto a bus to be transported from an asylum in Clifton. Uh, Clifton, Virginia, to a nearby prison. En route, one of the buses crashed. The convicts mm. managed to escape, and the police were able to round up all but one of the convicts. Mm. As their search went on, they began to find skinned, half-eaten bunnies in the woods and <laughs> hanging from the overpass of the Fairfax Bridge, known as the Bunny Man Bridge. A year later, on Halloween night, several teens went to hang out under the bridge. Come morning, they were all found dead! Dun, dun, dun. It is said that if you hang out under the bridge on Halloween night, you will meet the same fate as the rabbits and the teenagers. So, Ooh. The, the, where it came from is far better than the uh, yeah. than the why it's creepy why, this week so be, wh where in this story that we heard where it comes from did they get a guy wearing a white suit and bunny ears well, yeah there's like a 70 year gap between the uh, incidents yeah, that's a good point yeah. it's like the movie or the game telephone right it just keeps <laughs> up. yeah seriously and he so was I, wearing a suit so like, this is creepy so around this bridge there's there's always bunnies skinned and half eaten hanging from the bridge all around the grounds of the bridge that's pretty and horrifying. on halloween night there was several teens who were hung under the bridge i oh, mean no, that's no, all they were they were found dead sorry yeah, yeah yeah so this this is obviously real so there's something creepy going on around that bridge why bunnies? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Who would pervert the innocent, gentle bunny? Yeah, what a bad shake for the bunnies. You know, like, yeah. just, unfortunately, the bunnies in that immediate bridge area are just... What a shitty place to be born as a bunny. Yeah. Where, where do you real? live? Uh, bunny, bunny Man Bridge. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> shit. We got to have a show out in Bunny Man Bridge and get to the bottom <laughs> yeah. of this. Dude, we've got Let's a couple places. We have to go to Tagus. We, we have a tour. To, There's a tour to all of these yeah. creepy yeah. places. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're wow, doing Bunny it. Man Bridge. So mark that down. Next time you're in Virginia, guys, on yeah. tour, Bunny Man Bridge. Yeah. We got to see this, man. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. you're on tour in at near and around Halloween. If you guys hear that I disappear in Virginia, you'll know. No, that's we'll like know. Bunny man. I guess as long as you don't hang out. We know where they is. <laughs> under the bridge on Halloween. Right. Don't do that. Right. That's a big no-no. Yeah. If you see dead bunnies in the woods, just run. Just run. Don't risk the axe. Sure. Yeah. Just simply get out. So we did it again. It's a great one. It's a great one. We're unearthing a lot of creepy yeah. things. Anything else you want to say about it, I Daddy? guess kind of just one question is, if you believe in Virginia, there's a bunny man bridge where a guy in a white suit and bunny ears hangs out and kills people on Halloween? Uh, yes. They believe it. Yes. All you right. forgot yes. to do that at the start, didn't you? No, did I you didn't. hit him with the high pitch conspiracy? Did. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit, I'm a very dumb person. Yeah. All right, so we're moving along. It's time to play some music. Here we go. So what was the, what's the second song that you guys jammed Ooh, out earlier today? Limited View. Limited View. I love that one. Okay. Thank you. Want to go Thank with Limited you. View? Let's do it. All right. We're going to get a song right now from Law, Limited View. It's good. 
Here it is. Coming up off of our upcoming LP, Lawful Evil. Yes, dropping this year. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we're here with Law, and they're going to play Limited View. Enjoy. Break yourselves on the wheel. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. You guys killed it. Yeah. Oh, you guys, it's just so nice to be around live music again. Even though uh, dude, it's just us sitting in here getting to watch it, I feel like every week I'm like, I get to like watch a cool little concert huh. every week. That's it's awesome. True. And it's pretty awesome. It does feel like um, we're a venue almost. It's mm -hmm. right. The reason we wanted to do this too is because we're like, nobody can play anywhere. We Bands totally. can come on our show and play. And that's, I guess, as close to live yeah. as you're going to get. It feels you know? good to play, man. Anything we can get, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And this was this was better than that. <laughs> no, yeah, you guys killed it. And, you know, the songs are great. The energy was super, was super there. It, there you. might as well have been 500 people stuffed huh. in here because your energy <laughs> was like it. No, totally. But, um, um, yeah, so live music makes us feel good. And you know what else makes us feel good? 
our sponsors. That is right. And first and foremost, Koi CBD. We love this company. We love this product. You guys have heard it. I use it every day. Every single morning, I wake up, I get some water, I get some coffee, I take my CBD drops, and it just starts my day off right. I love the way it makes me feel. It just kind of relaxes my mood a little bit. doesn't make me tired, but just kind of puts me in a nice state of mind. And uh, I get these crazy aches and pains in my wrists and in my fingers from, you know, just playing guitar a lot and playing sports when I was younger. And um, ever since I started on a, you know, a steady CBD diet, I have noticed that these aches and pains, they come around a lot less. But if we're playing a lot of music or if it's really cold out, they do still come back. And even when they come back, I just grab some of this Koi CBD rubs they have. They have these awesome rubs that are amazing, lotions. But right now I'm really loving this new product they have. It's like a roll-on, uh, almost like an icy hot roll-on, just packed with CBD. It's freaking awesome. It smells great. It feels great. And it's one of those things where you put it on, you go about your day and like 15 minutes later, you're like, oh yeah, wow, that really helped. My aches and pains are gone, and it's much healthier for you than any like, over-the-counter pain meds. So give it a try. Give Koi CBD a try. It is the best. And if you go to KoiCBD.com and put in code FEELGOOD at checkout, you will get 15% off your order. Or you can just click the link below, and it'll take you right there. So there you go, Koi CBD. And also, plug-ins keychains. This is an amazing company and they have this awesome product. It's called the Jack Rack. And what it is, is it's just a replica of a guitar amp head. And they have a Marshall one, they have a Fender one. And it's really cool. It's a key, it's a key holder, keychain holder. And you connect your keys to it and uh, it's a quarter inch cable. And this is what you would plug into your guitar or the other end would go into your amp. So you plug your, you plug your keys, put your keys on the keychain. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever you get home, you just plug it into your amp that's mounted onto your wall. And when you got to go somewhere, you know right where it is. It's plugged into your amp. So it's super cool. And honestly, I've had one of these at my house for years. And I can't tell you how many times someone's come over and just been like, holy shit, that's awesome. Where'd you get it? And guess mm -hmm. what I tell them, Jake? I can't even fathom. I tell them you can get it at Plugins Get out of here. I was going to say that. .com. And that is with a Z and plural. That's pluginskeychains.com. P-L-U-G-I-N-Z keychains.com. And get yourself a jack rack. Put in code DuddyB at checkout and you will get 20% off of every single order that you ever make for the rest of your life. I promise you. You heard it here, people. <laughs> <laughs> Love you the did. way you sign off with that. All right. Now, before we get into, oh, my, my microphone's all tweaked on this cable. Sorry, this is great pod. I'm moving my microphone around and releasing a cable. It's show us your riff time. Mm. <gasps> yeah, it's the segment that uh, sometimes produces good riffs equally as many times. Produces I'm usually the one that just riffs. destroys my riff. So <laughs> You've huh. had some bangers. Micah Brown was on a couple weeks ago, and of course he did this like 10, 15 seconds. Just, nah, nah, you guys I have know a Micah feeling Brown. you're going to do a yeah, pretty shroudy riff. Shred, I'm pointing at Aiden okay. right now. So okay. <laughs> you're last too. So you get to do the big That's finale. Right. I'm going to start tapping. The fireworks. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going Spanish style. This uh oh, time. he's. Oh, Jake is stepping his riffs up. Yeah, guys. Can Latin I, style. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't even know. I'll, I'm going to just do the same I think I did last week. Beautiful. That's it. Wow. A little extra credit. Oh. Reggae skank. What, what <laughs> reggae skank style. Raga, Back to my root style. All right. Okay. We've got Jacob. Whenever I pick up the guitar, I always try to do that tool riff. Oh, letter us. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Good, yep. There we go. All right. Hell yeah. I'm going to do. I have a pick. Thank you very much. <gasps> he's, got, he's prepared. I'm gonna Guitar's do is prepared. Every time I pick up the guitar, it's kind of different. So I might. Get ready, it. guys. Get That's ready. okay. Aiden Palacios. <laughs> That's officially All right. the last time we will ever do that segment. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was our awesome. guitarist, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> all the lady listeners threw their bras at the yeah. speakers. No, and all the dudes on the gear forums yes, just threw their bras themselves. at the speakers. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no ears yeah. at the speakers. Definitely no women. For those of you just listening and not watching, which is 99% of you because nobody watches our YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But that's okay. Uh, not only did he just play that riff, he played it on like a very tiny guitar that I just handed him that he played for the very first time in his life. So I, that, that actually, was, it sounded and felt good. That's, <laughs> nice. that's how I played a baby Taylor. Nice. You didn't, now you need one. I, I know. They're fun guitars. I love yeah, those. No, they're super yeah. fun. And just so the listeners know, yeah, you, you, we have to have a baby Taylor. To be fair to Duddy and Rome, when they did their riffs where they missed pretty much every note <laughs> we were using full-size guitars and we're in chairs with like major uh, yeah. armrest issues so the baby taylor is yes. it's oh, the yeah. only thing Very that'll necessary. work here. The move for sure. yes. yeah the only way we can go is ukulele from here and that's huh. not gonna happen i'm okay so, with that all right there it is riffs have been shown Bandcamp. Oh, yeah, just a little that? story right daddy story from yeah, the road we didn't really ask you guys if you had one <laughs> Um, actually we uh, talked about how it's funny when people ask you if you have one, how it's so hard to always think of one, but if you guys have one story or something that just stands out, um, okay, I have one, but it, it's your story. And I don't think this guy will ever hear this. Let's, let's double team the story. I love like, it. You'll I love start, double teaming. Yeah. You'll, you'll start <laughs> and then I'll finish. Okay. So <laughs> to paint the picture from my perspective, we were playing this weird setup. We were playing at like a Japanese bowling alley in Cupertino. I already love it. It was like, it, it, they had oh a little, my God, I was they, thinking about this they, the other day because yeah. the word Cupertino is hilarious to me. They had, <laughs> yeah, it's where, a very that's a silly place, ass city. Yeah, it's where yeah, Apple North. headquarters is. It's like the only thing that's notable about there. It's in California. Uh, yeah, no, wow. this is great because this guy will never hear this because yeah, I, I don't, don't think he's ever been out in the forest. I don't even know if he'd be alive. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> have good ears. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's like they had a tiny little venue side and then there was a bowling alley and like an arcade. I don't know. I don't know how we and anyway. So did the show. Uh, then I was parked in the parking lot back. It was like in a little strip mall. I was packing up all my stuff and like Jake and everybody else is already back at the van. And I, I come to a scene at the van where everybody's sitting on the back of the van. We used to have a big black um, Ford Sprinter van, like the super high roof, big one. Um, there's this man who was wearing a uh, like really blue jeans. I'm going to probably remember this wrong. So it was dark, really blue jeans. I feel like he was wearing a white button up shirt that was like just one button too low where you could kind of see his chest a little bit. Yeah. Like also, this, this is oh, the funny thing. Yeah. The buttons were mismatched. You know, when you accidentally, oh, yeah. and, but he, he got to the end button, realized there wasn't enough. And was and like, said, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to go out like this. Close so, enough. <laughs> this yeah. So uh, it's hard for the non-visual uh, uh, people who are listening, but the, this man was sitting uncomfortably close to Jake, like maybe like an inch. We're on the curb. The we're sitting on the curb. Oh, yeah, you guys were on the curb. And uh, all I roll up to to hearing was, man, you got to come out to the, the forest with us. Sometimes I got to camp out there and you know, we drop acid. So what? And we get naked. I mean, it's just a good time, dude. You should definitely come tonight. <laughs> wow. The dude immediately turned around and went back into the bed. I'm glad <laughs> you heard because what, what he missed is that the dude was very aggressive. Ooh. It was odd. And so in Cupertino, have you ever been there up north in Northern California? There's some towns, some smaller cities that are very ominous. It's a good way of putting it. The trees are big and dark mm -hmm. and close together and you can't see much of the sky when you're in certain places. And we're in like a little strip mall that's just surrounded by trees, basically. Like you had to drive through the forest to get to this weird little yeah. strip mall area. Mm -hmm. A little creepy. It's creepy. And now there's fluorescent lights that are blinking that haven't been changed since 1972. Oh, yeah. And you're on your own. I'm on my yeah, own here. and I'm guys... coming down off the sweat of the show and some dude sits down next to me, right next to me. I don't know. And he just plops down and I am look up for my phone. He's smoking a cigarette. Oh, no. What's up, Poopsicle? That's the I'm first gonna, thing he says to me. No, I'm like, I did Poopsicle. He I was called like, you Poopsicle? And I was this? like, uh, greetings, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what did he What's up, Poopsicle? Oh, yeah. I fucking love this guy. I think he's, <laughs> yeah, this oh, guy's man. a legend. He's got a lazy eye and the mismatched fucking buttons on his shirt. And he's looking over him and he's scruffy, like patchy, like unshaven. And, and I'm like, uh, yeah, hello. And he's like, so you just played. Yeah, pretty good, but I heard better, I guess. Huh, you should play more rig and maybe people would like it better. Or not. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, anyway, I don't know what you guys are doing after the show, but we live out deep in the woods, you know? Some crazy parties, drop some acid, you know? Get a little drunk on whiskey, get naked. It's whatever, it's a good time. <laughs> Just come on by, play some pan flute. And I was like, what? and I'm not making this. I know it sounds like I'm adding yeah. shit to the no, story. No, no, but this is, this is what he, or was it mandolin? Maybe no, now I'm, I'm fucking flute. up my authenticity. No, I'm pretty sure it's pan flute. flute. Yeah. He said some weird, like, uh, it was you know, some woodwind, it was some, weird <laughs> yeah, yeah, some yeah, Appalachian like that. weird that implied like some hillbilly yeah. kind of yeah. thing going on. Play and some squeeze box. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so like, anyway, smell you later. And he fucking flicked me, he flicked a cigarette and walked off. And I was like, 
we got to go party. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Did you go? No, 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 no we didn't want to die. I didn't want to, I didn't want to die. No, I didn't want to meet God. his grandpappy. I no, I wasn't. Mean, <laughs> I want to get naked. Acid. You didn't feel like getting oh naked playing the band. I didn't feel like it that night, but when we come back, man, if you're watching, you know All what's right. fucked up is he probably is watching yeah, now, knowing. You know. <laughs> You know what I like to think? He's a super honest dude. So he slid in naked because he's like, what he wants is for you guys to get naked, but yeah. he's gonna, but he we're gonna be weird. We're gonna party, have fun, get naked. And if you guys yeah, wanna yeah, come yeah, over, put some pan food, he tries yeah. to. He slipped it in there. You know what? In was, his mind, he's like, at least I told them. I said That's naked. True. Dude, That's true. I have something I called Jake's him. law that every time you talk shit about someone, they're right behind the other door with like a big tray of cookies ready to apologize for what they did. <laughs> yeah. And then they walk in on you saying it and they like drop the tray of cookies. I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> it was an accident. I was drunk. I didn't mean it. Like, oh, I love that. <laughs> oh I my love that God. visual. It hasn't happened yet, but I always imagine it in my fucking head. <laughs> You're, that's, a, that's a very nice thing because yeah. you could have yeah. said they're right behind the wall ready to beat you then you're like with cookies to <laughs> yeah. apologize that would yeah. be, I, if they want to beat my ass like, all right let's do this fuck i get it i get it but if they're sitting there like bro i i, I was gonna apologize <laughs> yeah could you imagine oh, i man. was wrong but not as wrong as you now yeah, yeah, God, you're in the wrong for telling this on the fucking podcast <laughs> oh, cool, no. i got one other story at the expense of uh oral bass player that yeah was, do it okay so, <laughs> so Hey, we okay, were, he used to eat turkey sandwiches all the time, and he'd get mayonnaise all over our amps. No, that was the engineer. And, okay, my no, bad. No, this guy <laughs> ate salads with... Oh, it's good. He didn't eat salads, actually. He had a lot of croutons. Like, the crouton to salad ratio was very high. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. You get barbecue sauce everywhere. <laughs> but so, we were playing the show at... Uh, was it... When it, it was some in San Diego. I forget which venue it was. It was like a bar. Probably but, um, the holding company? Yeah, the holding company, yeah. Um... And uh, we were playing. It was cool. Uh, then a woman came up and offered Jake, or she like had a hundred dollar bill, and she like gave it to Jake's, like, "Hey, play one of just one of our old songs called Labor." And like we at that point we had already retired it. We were trying to be super anti, like distancing ourselves from anything we having to do with play reggae. That old stuff yeah. And that was like in the earlier era where it was more reggae ish, and like we needed the fucking money to get back home. Like, we, need yeah, it's like we need the money. It's like so. It's my still love, I was like. Oh, what the hell? We, yeah. we were just having an argument and about I mean, how we don't make any more song. <laughs> even if we don't play it, like it's it, we still wrote it. It's not like we're covering some song. Yeah. We hate. It's still our song. Yeah. I should have told the lady, "Hey, keep your money. We'll play the song." But oh, I was, I you. wanted to get home with gas money. No, hundred bucks. We were only getting like three hundred dollars for the but show. But the bassist looked over at me, and he looked like I was selling our our soul oh. for for the song. He's like, yeah. "We don't play." And he would go like anymore, over the Jake. top when he would play. He would he would do like. He was super animated and over the top rock star kind of thing. And like that for that song, he just stood there like this with his bass and just stare at the boom, ground. Boom, boom. And so like, I was like, fuck, this is going to be a thing after the show. And then <clears throat> loaded out into the alleyway where the van was and like, explosive this, argument i'm huge argument. story out of uh, order, i call but, him a bitch frankly which is was shitty well, no, of me i'm you, a kid you should straight up call him a but bitch like, these, these other bands are trying to um hang out with us like so what are you guys doing later yeah, like, yeah, show, like, you were being a bitch up in sh uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, the, show, the opening band when we it were was loading, fucked up like, me to do that dude you guys were all that's so sick so after you playing the show like yeah cool nice to meet you man then like after the show they're like waiting for us to like talk and we're like I think you're we were gonna go you hang out with them. Oh. Bitch. And then they were just saying, there. I was looking <laughs> oh, around no. like, oh, How fuck, dare you? Dude. You could say that. You're gonna call me out in front of these other people. You know, we, we have an explosive argument. An hour goes by, we hug and make up like exactly. every time. Well, you know, yeah. We, we, the, the hug and make up didn't happen until I, we, we were in the alley. It was in Ocean Beach. We're, we're cooling off and we're cooling off. It's kind of coming to an end. Like the shouting match, like it's slowed down a little bit. And like this, this, uh, uh crack or I'm not gonna say he's a crackhead. He, he looked like some drunk dude out of the bar who was looking for trouble. Who had three teeth and he came you know, walking down. He was a down man smoking crack. I was like, yeah, yeah, crack. He's stumbling now. Yeah. Yeah. And also, our girlfriends. Are, I'm telling the story out of Our girlfriends were there and they were with us in the middle of the alley. Poor girlfriends the of rock, they, they were, rock people. Like they yes. fucking have yeah. to sit there and listen to our fucking shit. <laughs> so the dude comes over and he hears us yelling and he just walks up super like uh, inquisitively, just looking at us like like almost like he's sniffing mean mugging. around. He's mean mugging us and he goes. You guys look like a bunch of fucking bitches. Oh no, he said, like, you guys are a bunch of bitches. And then for some reason, both of our girlfriends <laughs> were like in front of Jake and I, just our girlfriends. And like, I uh, I said to him, dude, you got some radical fucking teeth, my man. And that like, <laughs> I know you radical did, and that, like, dude. He he didn't say the situation and he just left. Like without, without incident, he just left. And then after that, we we're like, Okay, we're done fighting. That was funny. All right. Yeah, we realized oh, yeah. we're taking too much time fighting in this little seedy alleyway. Yeah. And like when I looked at him, I was like, I've seen this before. He's going to instigate us. And then a bunch of people are going to jump out because they're all looking for a fucking fight. Like yeah. I knew that was going to happen, but it turned out he was just, I think some drunk or crackhead or somebody who was just, some people were looking for trouble. He was yeah. just stumbling through the alley. I, to so. say something. I told him to fuck off when I was driving away too. And he, <laughs> and, I remember that, yeah. and he said, he looked at me dead in his eyes and he said, I'm a sacrifice. 
And I was like, what? <laughs> wow. And it all clicked. He was like ready to, I think he wanted all of us to beat his ass. He's like, a, I don't know. He's Daddy, remember when somebody, uh, we had a question from a fan on our Patreon page this Monday and they said, what's the creepiest thing you can whisper to someone <laughs> as you walk past them? <laughs> I'm that a might sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. Well, it yeah, it chilled me. I'm like, now I'm not afraid of him like beating us up and stealing our money or do whatever oh, yeah. we wanted to do. What is this guy? No, what a, does he know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this guy like? There's something Holy bigger going on. Is someone yeah. hunting? Is it the yeah. bunny man? Like that's unknowable. Oh, You'll yeah. forever have to think about that wonder. moment. Anyway, that's our band camp stories. Yep. Gnarly fights. Bitch after show callings. I yes. had a band break up backstage after a show. Oh, damn. Oh, Super had that quick. Too. I, I was in a straight edge hardcore band when I was just out of high school. I was mm -hmm. not straight edge, but they really needed a drummer. <laughs> and I was the guy. Yeah. And I went on tour with them. I was really young. They were all way older than me, but I could play fast drums. Mm -hmm. So they took me on tour and I played with them. And uh, the band broke up backstage after a show because our guitar player broke a string and didn't have any strings or a backup guitar. And so this was like second song of our set. So show was just over. And he's like, does anyone else, any other bands have any guitars? You're like asking on the mic oh. and no one came up. And so he goes, I guess we're done. And and I no, I didn't no, say a no. word. I just went backstage. I was like the young kid in this yeah. band. And I watched them all yell at each other in front of all the other bands. Oh, when you guys were it's saying your story, yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah, I was like, I, I remember that, so that feeling. I hate yeah, that, that dude. Sucks. I'm just sitting off to the oh. side going, I think the band I'm in just broke up pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm on a band right now. I think it's right over. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's always right. fun times, yeah. man. Mm. Well, that so, was freaking awesome. And so let's get into it. We actually asked our Patreon members. No, dude, we got one more song. Oh my God, That's right. Do, my and then bad. we'll go into the Q&A. And then we'll get into the Q&A. Yeah. So yeah, one more song. Um, Alien? Can we pull up? Can we play that one? Whichever one, Whichever you one you're into. Alien. All right, this one's Alien coming up off of our upcoming LP. Lawful Evil. evil. E Lawful. <laughs> What's it? What is it? Lawful Evil. Lawful yeah. Evil. Lawful Evil. This song's called Alien. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> All right, we're back with Law, and this is their song, Alien. This song's designed to make you feel uncomfortable emotions about yourself. How you gonna do me like? How you gonna do me like that? Not survive when I thought we were better friends. How you gonna laugh at me? How you gonna laugh at me? I yeah, think it's fine. You're not on mine But saying it that way Is just a pretty way Of saying that you hate somebody All I really wanted Was some pretty faces But the way they make me ostracized Makes me feel like an alien And that's something I would never do Makes me feel like an alien And that's something I wouldn't do to you Come on pretty mama Don't run any drama Come on now, nobody here want any trouble, no trouble, no, no trouble, no trouble. How you gonna look my way here? Now you wanna look my way and say nothing. You said nothing in the most villainous way. Like, why you gotta kick me when I'm down? I keep banging these fingers on the ground. Am I strange? Out of my don't say it to me, it's just the way you are Because saying it that way is just a pretty way For saying that you hate somebody All I really wanted was some pretty faces But the way they make me ostracized Makes me feel like an alien Not something I would never do Makes me feel Way. 
saying that you hate somebody All I really wanted was some pretty faces And someone who could empathize But they made me feel like an alien Something I'd never do Made me feel like an alien And that's something I wouldn't do to you Made me feel like an alien And that's something I never do Come on now, nobody here want any trouble, no trouble, no No trouble, no trouble, no No trouble, no trouble, no No trouble, no trouble No trouble, no trouble, no No trouble, no trouble No trouble, no trouble, no No trouble, no trouble, no trouble, no trouble, no no trouble, no trouble Yes, that was awesome. Once again, thank you guys so much. It's so awesome to be around uh, live music again. Super unique sound, especially that last song, Alien. Thanks, man. Not a lot of songs out there like Alien. And you even thank say you, it's man. meant to make you kind of feel funky and think about stuff. Mm -hmm. That one, right? I, that's what I want all music to do. Make yeah. me feel stuff. A tale of isolation. A tale of isolation. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> right and, um, on. So yeah, thanks again, you guys, for coming down. Yeah, um, thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. This has been a lot of fun. Thanks for putting up with our weirdness and our talking yeah, no, You guys are just, awesome, man. This that was is, great. We're, we're starved to do anything BAM related yeah. in these fucking quarantines. So you get you sit us down. We're just happy to remember that we're there, we're still doing it. You know? No, yeah, yeah, so, man. Thank well, you. No, you guys um, fit in perfect with the show and oh, we'll have you back. Uh, Guaranteed. We'd, we'd love, we'd love, we'd love to. Anytime. And we got Definitely. a lot of questions for them, right, Daddy? We, do. we do asked our Patreon members, uh, <laughs> you know, we told them you guys were coming on and, and some of the listeners have some questions for you. Um, but before that, if you guys are enjoying the show and you want an extra bonus episode every single month, guitar tutorials from uh, me. I, I go on there once a month to do guitar tutorials on Dirty <laughs> Head songs. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun over there. You can go over to patreon.com forward slash feeling good with Duddy. You can sign up there. It's five bucks a month, but you get a lot of cool extra stuff and it really helps the, the podcast keep going. So here is some Q and A questions from our Patreon members. I now, love this. some of these questions are going to be awesome. Some of these questions, um, you're going to want to do physical harm to the person asking oh, them. them. Yes. We'll answer those, are, those are the best ones. No, we yeah. love them all, but feel free to make fun of them. They love that. Just <laughs> yeah. letting you Perfect. know. Yes. Oh yeah. We make yeah. fun of them. They're probably hoping some of these questions are hoping that we trash them. <laughs> questions. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ask us any question. You want. Ooh. So, so this first one comes from Maui Wowie, and he says, any plans to, re to release Locked Away in Peach, uh, Pinche TJ? <laughs> um, you know, we could make a, a version of that. Uh, Aiden plays a mean classical guitar. Yes, so I do. For $100, a dollars, yes. they'll play that song for you. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. This time we won't have a, a blowout in the back <laughs> yeah. of the holding company and almost get mugged. That is yes. by a sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> he also says, uh, what's your preference? OG, OB, mm. Noodle Hoss, or the sequel? Was OG. there? OG. I didn't even. I only oh, went a few times when I was a kid, but. I don't think I ever went to the OG one. I love the Noodle Hoss. Every I time we're up, down there, they give us free meals. I grew up in San amazing. Diego. That's why it appears a lot in our, in our lyrics. But uh, yeah, it's great, great fucking food in San Diego. So underrated for their food. There is some good My food out there. My favorite uh, pho place is mm -hmm. the Noodle Hoss. Right on. So Jen Peterson says Rivers of Babylon on the house uh, that Bradley built is awesome. Where did you guys record that at? Uh, Tomorrow's Bad Seed Studio? No, he showed up, but it was, it was, was just there. Iration or no, it wasn't Iration. I feel bad. It was God, we're, we're the worst. <laughs> it was either Iration. We, we can't remember the names of songs. Can't remember the names of, of venues or Pepin, events Pepin. or anything. <laughs> it's either Pepper or Iration. I forget the dude. I feel bad, but it was this little studio in Torrance. Um, I want to say it was the dude from Pepper. Yeah, they Law Records. I believe that yeah, might all be yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's he probably at their, their studio area. Um, then. we went. Yeah, it was just uh, uh, Jake, his grandpa, and I, and I. I did some twelve string and the solo, and then Jake and Jim harmonized, and it was beautiful. 
Beautiful nice. time. It's fun. It's quick. We did it. I feel bad. I uh, outing myself as not that big of a Sublime fan or knowing any songs. I didn't listen to that song until the morning we uh, recorded it. And, uh, and I, I tried to fake it the best I could, and I think we recorded the whole thing in an hour. Or so yep. it came out okay enough. Nice. You did it. Oh, Donna. Donna, Donna, Ooh. Donna. Donna, again. you know how I feel about <laughs> that's a long lot of words, Donna. Questions, Donna. You're gonna make Daddy read. Holy yeah, this can get real shit. bad. <laughs> Jock, Josta, Jock, Crispy, Smith underneath with an almost. Yo, he's ignoring him. No, I won't. Do I need to? Donna, no, we have I'm to read. Donna. Donna. I gotta, I gotta fucking know. ignore you so bad, Donna. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it for you, Daddy. <laughs> Hey guy, I'll read it like, hey guys. This is Donna's voice. Super <laughs> excited to have you. We've known Donna for 150 years. Oh, hey I love guys, that. super excited to have you on the show. I just love your music. Well, thanks, It's Donna. pretty rad that you've all been together since middle school and putting out bangers. Around, Jacob, then. you once said in an interview that you wanted clients yeah. in Bradley's house to be able to make music and have stuff they recorded, put on CD, That's take right. it with them and leave. The idea is so awesome. You did a similar thing while you were in rehab. You wrote doses. Should you read this, Jacob? Yeah, yeah I think you're a better reader than me. You're no, like no, ahead of me. Yeah, so you're almost done. I, I know I'm struggling. Duddy and I, real good readers, huh? Um, <laughs> our family's ashamed. Doses of psychosis. What did you take away from do, from doing that <laughs> in rehab? rehab? So that's the question. Yes, there, there it is. We we'll stop it. there. Good Not lord. Not an artist, but I do know that I'm clean and sober. Music is my everything. That's great. And then congrats. Congrats to your sobriety as well. That's awesome. To whatever path in life, no matter what it takes, I, I love them all. And uh, hell yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, so Bradley's House, you probably shout that out, is something that my family, the Noel Family Foundation, is we're putting together. It's a treatment center for um, opiate addicted musicians because that's mm -hmm. something that is uh, obviously very close to our family. Um, but something that still happens out today, I mean, it just feels like the other day that an incredibly popular with the kids musician, a uh, little peep, you know, uh, mm -hmm. God rest his soul um, or whatever's up there, rest his soul. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, uh, that was a, a fentanyl thing. I'm pretty sure that was laced in the Xanax he was taking or yep. something. So, mm -hmm opioids are going to be a constant problem they're not going anywhere and like i said i do want to put out that i just to, not to get too political i think all anything everything should be legal you know i think that every whoever's choice it is to do what they want to do they should be able to do that and pursue that but if it does become a problem and you think you need help there's so many different options to find that kind of help and you can it doesn't have to be a death sentence to just live the life that you way you want to live and and you can come back from it if it does get to be that point. And so I think that's where Bradley's house comes in is specifically musicians that have uh, come into problems with the uh, opioids. We want to have a place for them uh, by people who uh, run by people who were, were, it was close to them, something that was close to them. So my aunt uh, Kelly Noel does most of the running of uh, stuff, and we're looking to open up here as soon as we possibly can. And one of my ideas to have uh, in this recovery. Uh, sort of treatment center was that uh, musicians could have a place to record while they're there because what better time do we write things than when we're at our, our lowest you know yeah, totally mm -hmm. and and to have like a cd that they could take with them and just a little demo you know something simple just have an in-house sound guy yeah. do a little demo have it have it be a music therapy type of thing because a song that was off of mm -hmm. our first lp um there and back again was called doses of psychosis i wrote it with two dudes in there uh, one of them I don't talk to anymore and the other one's not here anymore oh, and wow. you know why it's because he found a fucking bag under the bridge he was sober for a little bit his thing was opiates and that's as easy as that. I still mm -hmm. have uh, messages, voicemails from this guy, Joey, Joey Salerno. I'll never forget him, man. Really, really changed my life in a lot of ways. Only knew him, lived with him for a couple months when I was in rehab. But uh, it, And he was a musician too, and he just yep. couldn't get it, man. Couldn't get past and so it. I want to let you know out there, it doesn't have to be a death sentence. It doesn't have to be the end. There's always a, there's always a chance for you. That's awesome. And music man. can help with that. That's, That's a great cool. thing. And then when they and then when you leave from recovery, you have this song that you made. That's like right. something to hang your hat on right yeah. there. You're leaving with something That's life. You're That's experience. Yeah. You feel good. tangible. Yeah. Yep. I think that That's would be a such a idea. cool. It's like charting your keep... progress. I mean, it's super yep. powerful too, to do something it like that when you're at your absolute lowest and then you can reflect back on. I mean, tell me like music with anybody. I mean, sorry, I'm speaking for Jake, but like it brings you back to a place in time and like you smell the smells and see what you were like when you have certain memories. So like Something like that for someone who's going through something that intense would be pretty powerful. I totally. Mean, Completely. 100%, man. I never heard you say that idea before. That idea is awesome. That's super, super Thank cool. Thank you, man. Yeah. I, didn't know that yeah. you know, I love that. To do that. All right. So, Josta, uh, moving say. along. Josta <laughs> Jacaspa Smith. That's, uh, I call her you know that's a reggae uh, cereal is what that sounds like. John Crispy. <laughs> John Crispy Smith. John Crispy Smith. I'm going to read Donald's question. Colorful marshmallows. I'm going to read Josta's question too, but we may have to mute them next Monday for asking such long questions. Yeah, we've we'll stated see. many times, guys. Come on, treat it like half of Twitter. 
<laughs> Whatever Twitter gives you, do half of that. Thanks. All right. She says, absolutely love law. Found you guys in 2017 and saw you guys live for the first time in Chicago, 2019. I'm glad you went. Great, great show. Sure. Mm -hmm. Got to meet Jacob too, which was awesome. Thanks for taking a pic with me. So many questions. Uh, is the song Know You? What's the story behind it? What's it about? I think I have an idea, but I want to hear it from you guys. Also, where can we buy merch? Thanks for sharing your talents with us. Love you guys. Uh, as much as I'd love to spoil that stuff, I think it, it spoils the magic a little bit for the interpretation. The song is whatever it means to you. That's what the song's about. But I think you can, I, I think I hear what you're hinting and then you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. No, I do love that because, um, you know, it, it's fun. There's been so many times where a song meant something to me, yeah. not even my own, just a song that I like. And then you find out the real meaning and you're like, huh. There's nothing like yeah. that. Yeah, and it changes the song for me a little yeah. bit, you know? So, yeah, yeah. I like I used it, man. to like Interpret. that song. That's yeah. I am with our man. It's in the hands of the people. It's not mine anymore. So um, it meant something to me at the time. But tell you the truth, when I write stuff, what it meant means to me changes over time, too. Totally. And then maybe I'll change a lyric slightly live and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. it's whatever right. you want. Uh, the merch thing. Uh, we have no merch. Uh, <laughs> that's a we, no all we, right uh, our, we suck uh, <laughs> we're getting more if we're, anyone uh, out there knows a merch company we, would hit us we, up right we have a patreon and one of the things that we want to do on patreon is if we get enough uh patrons we want to do a merch shop it's kind of weird the way it works on there it's not like a storefront it's like a it's a whole separate thing but once our page patreon gets big enough we'll start doing exclusive merch through that but uh mm -hmm. so join our please. patreon yeah. people please sweet yes. <laughs> All right, Christina Whitman says, I'm wondering if you could collab with any musician or band, who would it be? Oh man, this is great. Um, uh, right, I'm, I'm gonna, obviously there's like the dream ones that would just, you know, are our kind of dream like tool or whatever, oh, that'd be so, but I think more like realistic, we still pretty dream because they're, they're, they're huge and that's more current and out on, you know, uh, I would say King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I don't know yeah, if you've heard of these guys yeah. from Australia. Yeah, I have crazy. not. I'm going to have to check that out. They're one of the most exciting. Cool. There's so much, actually, like a Tropical Fuckstorm, mm -hmm. a lot of the, the Murlocs. There's a lot of Australian rock that's happening right okay. now. And these dudes just rock. And they're, they, they're, they're original, too. They're hilarious. She says that they love the creativity and humor. That's Gizzard mm -hmm. right there. And then they she are hilarious. mom, I think, too. They're weird. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Mama Troy. That's my mom. Thanks mm -hmm. for making me. And um, yeah, uh, King Gizzard, uh, Tropical Fuckstorm, all these Australian bands, if we could mm -hmm. get in that scene somehow or do something with those guys, even like a funny video, because they do all sorts of costumed weird mm -hmm. shenanigans in their music videos, yeah. that would be a dream come true. A lot of big solos. It's like right. fun yeah. showing off music, but it, mm -hmm. dude, it's just having a but good time. But they still have like this catchiness to like yes. all their riffs. It's like I like them. earworm hooks mm -hmm. of like, yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. All right. What do we got here? So Tyler... Uh, Dorshorst? <laughs> I know I met Dorshorst. 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 Tyler Dorshorst. <laughs> That's a fucking great name. You got it. And I know I fucked it up. Sorry about that. But is there an album from your childhood you can still listen to front to back, no skipping any tracks? Love what you guys do on a ba daily first. basis. Do uh, your thing. A we'll, a all, we'll all give them one. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me, let me guess. Um, one of them is Rush. One of the Rush albums. From yeah. childhood. And then... <laughs> Dirt. No, not dirt actually. Fuck. Okay, I can't get it. Moving Pictures by Rush. Okay, and, Moving Pictures uh, by Rush. And yeah. Toxicity by System of a Down. Mm, I think it's, so I, good. I listen to that yeah. album all day nice. every day. Yeah, that album. yeah, Toxicity definitely That's is the up there. That's one with for Chop me. Suey, right? Yeah, That's their yeah, opening go. banger. Incredible. Um, the one for me that I can still do this with is Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Deaf. In my opinion, the number one rock record of all time. And I say that there's even other parts of other records I like more than that one, but on the whole, I just love that record. It's, it's an experience. Everything I try to do in, in making, writing a song, each one of those songs just hits for me. What about you guys? I What's was your... going to say that one. There's, there point, there's like 10 of them that I can yeah. choose, but yeah, that I mean, was same, what yeah. came to my yeah. mind because I think one. we mentioned them earlier in yeah. talking. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm of like those from childhood, like something I grew up listening that to. That one is when I was young. And, yeah. Uh, that it would probably be something like Paul's Boutique or something. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Paul's Boutique. Yeah. <laughs> the good Amazing. thing is I can go with plenty of the Beastie Boys because exactly. my next thought yeah, was yeah. Paul's Boutique or easily Check Your Head. Yeah, yeah. totally. You know, yeah. I love Check Your Head. Great. That's like the, that's like really when I fell in love with the Beastie Boys yeah. was Check Your Head. And then I found Paul's Boutique yeah. after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those are all super, super great. Awesome. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. So Kristen Haggett says, what is one of your favorite roadside, roadside attractions or cool spots that you got to see while out on the road? 
That's an interesting hmm. one. Yeah, I don't that know. Is, um, there's plenty of I love the AM PM or the the loves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the loves. yeah, yeah. The, the loves are like you know great. you're not always out in the same places when yeah. you're on the road. So it's like yeah. um, I love a nice truck stop and we just get to chill and nice, you know yeah. get whatever you well want. Well lit truck stop. <laughs> well that's lit. Safe. Oh, a truck stop is just like a oasis in the oh, desert. Yeah. Sometimes oh, that's so really nice. Like, oh, yeah. There's they'll a couple have donuts, of them. everything. <laughs> What's it called? There's one. It's like. God, there's one <laughs> ultimate fucking truck stop out in Texas somewhere. Oh, the, they have ones it. that are like malls out there. <laughs> I forget the name of it. They have like the Wabas all over yeah, that yeah. are kind of cool, but there's this other one. There, it's only one of them, and it's in the middle of nowhere in Texas, and you walk in, and it's just like, why is this here? Okay. This is oh, insane. I you can that. order anything you fucking want to eat, and they That's will so make cool, it for dude. you. It's, it's out amazing. of control. You know what's fun about the truck stops in the middle of everywhere, too, is every once in a while, you'll pull into one, and it'll be like connected to the world's smallest museum of oh. Oh, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The steam train caboose was invented here. You're like, yeah. what? And then there's like a little three room, just everything. I love doing it, weird stuff like that. You know, that. And you walk yeah. through. Yeah, there's old pictures. Those are They're, random oh, trucks. Actually, yeah. Florida. I try to, in every town we go to, try to find the game store there and go there. These little like hobby shops mm -hmm. that they oh, just have cool. like board games and card games and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's with my weird because I'm I like hobbies like that, but also those places are just interesting to me. Yeah. Totally, it could be something that's like huge, like there's one in San Francisco that's yeah. insanely big and they got toys and stuff, or it'll be like a little hole in the wall, like sports card store with just some dude said there's dust on everything. You just find the most fascinating shit in those yeah. places. Mm -hmm. So I try to go to one of those. Yeah. In every a time. dusty old yeah. place on tour it's in an cool. afternoon or something. Yeah. Yeah. The sun's totally. coming yeah. through the window, hitting the shelves. It's thing, the best explore. thing ever. Yeah. Oh. Man, you know I miss yeah. the roads so fucking yeah. much. I think one thing I could say we do every tour, like I love to go like wherever we're at, I like to go somewhere and like eat something that they're known for. Like yeah. that mm. place, yes. you know, yeah. like, okay. They're, totally. Like for like, you know, cliche, but go to Philly. I'm getting a fucking cheesesteak yeah. sandwich. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Get like, it there. Let's see what yeah, it's all about. Exactly. Yep. So I, I do. I look forward to that. Um, Let's see where we at. Uh, Jen Peterson says, do you feel like everybody instantly compares you with your dad? I think your sound is awesome. I think we kind of touched this. We earlier. touched. Yeah, we did. And, and <laughs> it's going to have to happen. But at the same time, like I said, double edged sword, yeah. double edged sword. So it's something we, we live with and we all we can only be who we are. Yeah, true. Very all true. right. Last question, guys. Uh, oh Cindy says milk, milk, Jake. Laugh out loud. So I've milk. been reading this this entire time. Yeah, okay, I gotta milk say, I, so is she so, saying milk, milk or milk? Okay, I'm oh, trying to because oh. some people are milk people. They say yes. milk instead of milk, and I've heard milk too, which is crazy. Milk. Oh, that person mm. needs to be. Polo. They need That's to be the dragged need to be down in the street and shot. Yeah. And, <laughs> thank you, because I that and, was yeah. hoping you'd go but there. I feel like Cindy's saying to me like, Jake, come on, milk. It's milk, Jake. But I'm not a milk person. I say milk with an. I say I don't. I'm not milk, Cindy. I don't know what you want milk. from me. I wonder milk. if I said milk. it and she's yelling oh, at me. Jake. Yes. I don't know because I made you fun of person? someone faint back in the day because they said pillow. Pello. Remember, I was wasn't about it one to... of your guys on your tour and I Pello. roasted him for saying Pello? Dude, Maybe. you're the only person I met who've also, because people know the milk and milk one. No one else notices Pello. 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 I have uh, that same old basis we were talking about. Like, hey, Jay, can you hand me my pillow? It can was you hand the, me my pillow? Like, oh, <laughs> no, but I can hand you my pillow. Oh, yeah. 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 It was this. It was the, the kid who ran the VIP on the tour you guys were out yes, on. Yes, and said, do you have a polo? We were live on Twitch, uh, like on the main we page the of Twitch because the Dirty Twitch. Heads had an album releasing and, and Duddy and I were kind of hosting it. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was roasting their kid because he said <laughs> fucking pillow and you guys threw him at me to like make fun of. He got That's blasted hilarious. on yeah. Twitch. Oh, That's awesome. Good so for him. Milk <laughs> 15 minutes. So, so I'm wondering if she maybe caught me saying milk or something and she's like, oh. milk. Like, or That's she's just asking right. you. Either way, Hey, fuck either off, way. Man. Really it's judgy. White and it's also, cold. don't say orange. I've had friends oh, that say orange. orange. Yeah. Not orange, orange. 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 Like maybe you want a nice tasty orange for me to eat? <laughs> Daddy and I are, are we're Jews. I feel like if you're like a 79-year-old yeah. Jew from like Jersey, you can yeah. say, uh, give me an orange. Yeah. Anyone orange. else needs to die if they say that. Yeah. Man or woman, 97, Jeremy. whatever year old you. <laughs> Jeremy. That's an inside I cut. I love it. We made it to the end, guys. <laughs> wow. This we has been it. such a fun time. Thank you guys for keeping yeah. this spirit of, you know, just musicianship alive because this yeah. stuff is so much fun just to talk about all this, you know. Awesome. Thank it's you. It's been guys. way too long being stuck inside. I know. <laughs> yeah. we'll plug everything. Yeah. Tell everyone exactly where to go. 
LAW, LAW, LBC, a thousand seasons, episodes of the end of time. Please check us out online. Uh, Law LBC, everything. Just type Law LBC into Google. Law LBC. It come up. We yep. have Patreon now because we can't play too many shows Patreon. and we need to support ourselves. We have videos coming out once oh, every week. Oh, YouTube as well. YouTube, it's all on YouTube. Facebook, and Instagram. Patri- patrons get extra shit on the Patreon. They get behind the scenes yes, stuff, an do. extra video every month. And um, it's just amazing stuff. Please check it out. We got an album coming out called Lawful Evil. How's the mixing going, Aiden? Uh, today's like the last day before we do the final sign-off mm. tomorrow with you and uh, uh, Nick. It's going to be nice. dropping later this year. So uh, please Bam. check. If you liked anything you heard here tonight, please support us. Uh, we just love doing this. and We sound like all your favorite bands mixed together. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We'll have links for everything for awesome. you guys on yeah. everything. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for stopping yeah. by. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys next week. You Peace. Thanks.